When you get Xfinity Internet, Flex is included free. And finding what to watch on TV is now as easy as popcorn. Show me my favorites. Yes! Live soccer. This is how easy it is to find my favorite content. All in one place. And for Xfinity Internet customers, it all starts at free with Xfinity Flex. This is a way better way to watch. Learn how to get a great offer on Xfinity Internet. Plus, add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Dunkin' is putting a whole new spin on pumpkin at Dunkin' with our new pumpkin cream cold brew. Smooth, bold, cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream cold foam made with cinnamon and nutmeg spices. And there's more pumpkin for you to love, like the delicious fall classic, our pumpkin spice signature latte. Rich espresso topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. That's how we pumpkin at Dunkin'. Sip into the fall season with the $3 medium pumpkin cream cold brew or pumpkin spice signature latte. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Exclusion apply. Valid on pumpkin spice signature latte only in all cold foam cold brew. Yo, why are you naked on the internet, B? And why are you so old and horny? They say humans are social animals. They can't live alone. But you can live pretty well by yourself. This is an amazing relationship. Back. Yeah. I appreciate it. It's great name. I haven't seen some flashy like this since um Hef. Mm. Well, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a um uh, how would you say uh, a baby dom. <laughs> so you know how they have like littles in, in BDSM and stuff like that. People uh-huh. identify as young or whatever. I love to be taken care of, so that's some one of my kings. I too I, like to be taken I care of. Be in the bosom, I'm the little spoon in some cases. So Yo, that's the best, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm good at the big spoon. You know, uh-huh. I, I hold it down as mm-hmm. a big spoon, but. A little spoon is where I belong. So wait, how is a dom do you tell, like, <laughs> come over here, big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to toot it up towards her. Yeah, you know, yeah, she yeah. grab you. She, she don't grab you, she ain't the one. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, that's beautiful. So this is your sub. That's my submissive, yeah. That's beautiful. Hi. Hi. I'm a switch, so I, I just understand both sides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be over there fixing my girls up. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> doing good? How was your day? How's your mental health? <laughs> <laughs> not my turn. <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, not my turn. Tell me how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Big switch vibes, nigga. I'm ready. Not kind of. Not really. I mean, we're recording already. We are? Yeah, this is it. I was we're just in. talking? We're in now. Oh, sorry. Would you, like to, would you like me to talk about me until <coughs> you're ready? Yo, I hate it, but go ahead. It's I'm going to let y'all know something, right? Your boy didn't go viral once. He didn't go viral twice. Three times gold on Twitter, B. Oh, yeah. Three I times that. viral. I seen your picture. It was like 70,000 likes or something crazy. Why are you have your tongue out? Fire. I always have my tongue out. Oh, I'm always, I'm always facing bacon when I do it. That's why. That's nasty. Bacon. I'm not fucking looking at you. <laughs> three times fucking viral getting your nipples you licked get? on Twitter. Getting your nipples licked. Getting my oh, nipples licked on Twitter. it was the nipple play mm-hmm. that did it. And wearing my it manties. Tiami, it was Tyomi with a yeah. slurp in your chest. Mm. Mm. How did that feel? Oh, it's amazing. I also realized that it's a quick way for me to get hard. Mm. Get my nipples licked. When I was at the play party, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later, I was just chilling. You know, the rhino kicked in. Rhino kicked out. And then mm-hmm. I got my nipple licked yeah. by um <laughs> another one of your your show conquests. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga fucked another fan, bro. <laughs> this yo, I can't son with you, bro. But it's good. I mean, I'm I'm slightly jealous. You you you're getting all this free access through the podcast. I used to fuck fans all the time when I was a social analyst. All the time, <laughs> all the time. They reach out like, hey, love, I love you. Like, how yeah. much? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta relax. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> hey, what? How big mm-hmm. of a fan are you? Yeah, how much? <laughs> it was, hey, it was a good time, bro. It was just uh, unlimited supply. It- you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But fuck it. You know, I'm in a relationship now. It's great. I ain't doing nothing this weekend. What the hardest of DMs looking like? I'm in now. It's great. <laughs> it's so you sound excited. I'm yeah, I'm hating. So. Tell me more. How about how you hate? Um, What was I going to talk about? I forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, You said the sex party. How was it? I was going to say it for the date card. Okay. It's a segment. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm familiar. You're familiar. Oh, you you listen. Yeah, I've been listening far below before this. My thing really? is this with you. My thing is this with you. I don't, I'm confused about your lifestyle. <laughs> you know that we spoke about this earlier. Orlando and I was on the phone for two hours today, uh, just kicking it, talking. He's coming, shit. he's coming around. We had a man. whole podcast earlier. 
Oh, it was great. Just talking shit. It was great. And I realized that you do not have nobody that you fucking all the time. Currently. Period. It's been months. Who Who was the last person that you have had a steady sexual relationship with? Um, This girl before she went to a third world country for the summer. Oh. That's a reason to break up. That is. Oh, we didn't break up. She just, you know. It's kind of fire. So it's been I'm three months. Me. It's been three months. Yeah. Um, before that was... Yeah, P.O.P. So I haven't had anything really steady this whole year. Why? All of these different people you have having sex with, you, nobody, you don't want to go back to anybody? Mm-mm. Why? Um, you want to be completely transparent? Absolutely. That's what we I've been for. focused on the podcast. What does that mean? You jerk off every day. Seven times. When when I get into like work mode, you never want to hug nobody. But, of I, but I don't think he got the time to commit to a relationship. Yes, yeah, it's the, the commitment. Yes, yeah, the commitment. It's a commitment to something. You, once you're in a relationship, you can't be editing mad hours and shooting this and going to this and going to that and yeah. expect the woman to. Yes, I'm not gonna fuck can. my fans if I gotta focus on my relationship. You're all fucking right. all the fans anyway. Yeah, but the- <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're fucking all the fans anyway. <laughs> as a single man. As a single yeah, man. as a single guy. But that doesn't. You don't have to be in a relationship to have a consistent oh, okay, okay. sexual partner. But it somebody that a you enjoy. Yeah. It does. Anything is a relationship. Yeah. You and I have a relationship. Yeah, absolutely. Me and him have a relationship. Me and Melly have a relationship. Me and Delroy have a uh, meat pocket. Have a relationship. All right. So a steady sexual relationship has to convey some sort or amount of attention. The attention that I don't have to give, which I've even seen that. These women do want a steady amount of relationship if they're giving me a steady amount of sexual interactions and I can't give it to them. And they've said, all right, well, I'm going to give my attention over here because I can't get this consistently from you. Not only now I'm not giving consistent attention, I'm also not giving consistent dick. Mm-hmm. Are you good at having consistent sexual relationships beyond the podcast? Like, say, before the podcast. Yeah. Like, just... Oh, I was in situations all the time. All the time. <laughs> Loved it. But now you just kind of focus on your career. Yeah. Our career. Thank you. I appreciate you, your sacrifice. <laughs> I do. I, and I appreciate I, I your sacrifice. sacrifice. I mean, I don't, I haven't had a consistent sexual relationship in a while either. We, I'm in a relationship. We got kids. Oh, okay. Mm. And they always around and I love spending time with them. Right? So I'm always like, yo, bring them. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. But so, but then they're here. And I don't feel right. Like, was we get to the shaking? <laughs> you yeah, did say that. Yeah. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, because I have I have daughters. So. That, yeah. They're daughters. So and they and I'm loud. So there you yeah. go. Yeah. I'll be in the back. Ah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you didn't even say she's loud. Like, I'm loud. I'm in the back. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> furniture moving. Yeah, that type of shit. Scricky, 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 scricky. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Thank you. you I don't. Go, <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Thought he didn't like butt play. <laughs> this is a cookie monster on the pod right now. <laughs> so you have daughters. Yeah. You have. How do you do your regular sex life day? Um, I have a consistent partner. So okay, that's how that works. And. Um, you know, I'm not the custodial parent, so it's a little bit better. It's easier. It's a little easier, definitely. Okay. See, that's the thing. She is, and... But when I have them, and, you know, I'm with my woman, you know, uh, it's a little difficult because, like I said, I'm loud, so... And my daughters want to rescue me when they hear me in danger. <laughs> they don't come in no! 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 <laughs> Daddy, you okay? <laughs> Let him out! What's going on in there? <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. No. No. <laughs> I don't even have kids, but no. Yeah. That Meanwhile, ain't. he's the one in the back swinging the fire yeah. around and shit like that. You're loud. Mm. Have you always been a talker? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you a screamer or a talker? Like, I'm what a is talk- this? I'm a talker. I'm a moaner. I'm a grunter. Uh, so you're <clears throat> you're doing all that. <clears throat> yeah, all of that. Yeah. Fire. I and I'm a growler and a barker. You bark. Yeah, B- bacon. Bacon. Yeah. bacon. He barks too. A <laughs> like, B like in yeah. here. A <laughs> like, what's a bark? Give me a bark. Yeah. Are you barking like that while you fucking? You're I mean, barking like that? I'll, I'll bit somebody and, you know, you might get I'm going to do that shit. I ain't going to hold you, flag. I'm going to do that. That's fire. Yeah. If you bark in the pussy, it's a thing. 
It's the vibration. It, it, it makes them feel good. You it's the, bark it's, in it's the, the box. Yeah, I mean, it ain't going to hurt them. The thing is, I do a lot of shit that's about intimidating you, but not hurting you. Like, you're not going to be in any pain from it. You're going to be like, oh, that's a sensation I never felt. All that wind, that air, that aggression. You're at the... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> arr, 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 arr. Yo. <laughs> Relax. Oh, that is it. there a specific yeah, type of dog? Different dog. Yeah. Different, <laughs> is there a specific type of dog? No, I only That's got one. Fine. I only I got one. What is your, what is your dog? I is just it? think a loud bark. I don't even call so it. So you're like a Doberman? Probably so, yeah. Like or a rock what, what, kind of, what kind of dog are you? I don't know. Right. <laughs> That was good. That was good. That was pretty good. I do feel the vibration. Yeah, it's yeah, just chest, giving me yeah. like Labrador. It's energy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give it golden retriever. Yeah, it's giving Labrador. Gives you friendly. It gives you friendly. Bacon, go ahead, bro. Yeah, you know you want to bark bacon. <laughs> bacon is like, he, he has the dog chain. He has the dog chain. Oh, okay. no. yeah, 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 yeah. You know he wants to. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this? That nigga be laying yeah, yeah. dick. <laughs> that, <laughs> this nigga's a boar bell. <laughs> this nigga's a lion tail. That nigga's kill you. I get it. Dina, I get it. Yeah. You do that first Dina is his girlfriend and she's in the chat on Zoom. Okay. We're also yeah, live. do that close to her inner thighs. I'm yeah. telling you, she's going to be like, oh my God. Oh, the people like, do it again, do it again. in the Patreon chat, go for, and these are five women. I wouldn't mind the bark. Go primal. That's that's a guy. A bark sounds amazing. Bark? Wild. I'm intrigued though. That's some old titties. Mm-hmm. Ooh, maybe outside too. That bark might hit different. Facts. Oh, we on a, you, My man, my man. Yeah. Give it a First five minutes. Zona, so first <laughs> you gotta know who you fucking. Know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. For One sure. thing is everybody not gonna like this shit. You, well, you start. Can with you like surprise somebody with a bark? Shit. You start with little nibbles and growling next to her neck and growling next to her pussy and shit. You know, like that kind of thing. You don't oh. just go right for it, like you just fucking it out nah, of nowhere. You can't just be starting. Yeah, yeah. That's how you gotta start. You gotta like, you do grab her by the hair DMX. and then you growl yeah. in her ear. Yeah, that type of shit. Like a real beat. Like yeah. I can see it going now. So you start with like low grunts. Yeah. Uh, mm. What are you? Uh, Yo, son. <laughs> uh, now you understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm good at sex. Me. You sound like a fake dog. A, a dog phone ring. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know that people that got the dog phone mm. ring? That's what he sound like. <laughs> 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 I always wonder why people have that fucking phone phone ring you ever met somebody that had that shit i work around white people they be having that shit <laughs> it's fucking i can't don't wait don't you to have bark. to ask for consent don't you have to have like the before sex convo do you like barking you gotta ask for consent for moaning i feel like you're supposed to you're supposed to talk about a lot of shit before sex mm-hmm. well con- I, I, would, I would believe consent yeah is definitely a big umbrella but um it's Primarily focus on like things that are like physical exchanges, mm-hmm. like me I didn't saying mean something. Yeah, I didn't mean yeah. like that, but yeah. like things that you like, things that you don't like. Well, you could go over it at the end. Like I, I, I'm big on debriefing after experiences. Like, what was your favorite part? Was something you could go without? And then they'll tell you like, yeah, that barking shit, that was weird. I've never heard it because I only do it with people I trust. So you I know. feel like now I'm exp- I'm inexperienced. I'm I'm ex- inexperienced with all of this. Matter of fact, shit, I went to your table. Mm-hmm. And Atlanta, you had all this shit. I was like, I want one of these. I, want one of these. I walked away with this shit. Yeah, I, thought, was... I, th- I thought the shit was for sale. He was so, he went somewhere else. I went to go find him. I found a nigga. He's like, yo, what you doing with my shit? I was like, I was trying to buy. He's like, nigga, this ain't for sale. Get my shit, you broke nigga. So I, I'll give him. You know, he knows more about it. But I would mm-hmm. think that you say at the dinner table, kind of first time around. Are you into like a little growling, barking when y'all having a sex conversation? You don't want to just afterwards, because afterwards she gonna be like, "Yo, this nigga be barking." Well, if that's the case, there's so much that you're gonna have to talk about before. You're supposed to. I mean, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, like, like I said, something that's audio. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't need to necessarily discuss unless it's something like the grading. You know what I mean? If you call somebody out their name, then that's right, that's right, something right. you might want to yeah. cover. But like, you're not gonna prevent me from making sounds when I'm having sex. That's not. Don't, baby. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart. Listen to these niggas if you want. If she start barking, don't then that's bark little... without <laughs> telling me you into that type of shit. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> don't bark. I, there's nothing you can tell me after you start barking <laughs> that I'm gonna be okay with you coming back. Like this, there's, there's something wrong here. We're not the same. We have different values. <laughs> this nigga fucking different. That right? Stay over there. I'm good. <laughs> You're different. What are other first date questions that you might want to ask a woman or a woman should ask a man? I don't know. Anything that comes to mind, honestly. When it comes to sex, I mean, before sex questions. That's a good question. 
Um, what would I ask? I have one. Ooh. Go. I said that women should ask a man. Oh, ask a man. Do they wash their hands before or after they pee? <laughs> it's like- COVID. You're not washing your hands before you touch a dick? Then that shit got to go in her mouth. You ever think about that? You ever think about all the shit that you touch yeah, before you touch a dick? That. I mean, that makes sense when you when you think about it like that, yeah. You yeah. think, like, I don't care if I put pee on you. <laughs> More than I care about all the shit that I put on my dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've definitely And I'm a garbage over. man, that's why, really. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah, literally, I cut, as soon as I come yeah. into the garbage, into the back into the thing, I go oh, and wash my hands. I be having to pee. I be sitting there shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did garbage removal for two days, like, actually a week, almost. Almost a week. Got fired. Um <laughs> So I told the man to turn his turn his music down in his own truck so I could take a phone call. So I he didn't feel that. He, that he was among among a, many other things. Mm-hmm. Many other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's gotta be fair. Yeah. It got Bronx in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a trash I'm a trash motherfucker, so I kinda fit right in the shit. I'm trash. <laughs> but yeah, like that, that yeah. When I seen all the when I was exposed to because we was doing like um we was doing scrapping. Mm-hmm. So it was a little different than regular mm-hmm. trash, but it's, yeah, I, I felt like I wanted to wash my hands every five minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a different situation. So yeah. I so yeah, but y'all don't wash your hands before no, you go. Well, my line of work also. Emergency. Do you wash hands when you get to the bathroom yeah. or after you finish? Before and after. You're a liar. Yo, he be lying, bro. Hashtag this nigga lying. Are we t- if we're so talking why about- does he lie so much? Why do you be asking me questions and tell me I'm lying? If I'm at lie. work. Nobody does it but me. If I'm, I'm the only <laughs> person. I was the first <laughs> person <laughs> to wash <laughs> his hands before he goes to the bathroom. I'm the first one. Well, you got me beat. Yeah, right? Yeah. He got me beat. I ain't even I'm the first front. nigga to go to sleep. I mean, I, I keep my hands pretty clean. I mean, I, yeah, And yeah. nobody washes their shit before they put it in somebody's mouth. They back it out. It is what it is. You know, if we're talking about at work. Then yeah, I wash my hands before. So every but doorknob the, you touch is on your shit. Go ahead. No, nah, on the norm, lying. on the norm, I probably don't do it. But I do wash my hands so before you, I touch the So you admit you're lying. You admit you're lying. Just no, admit you're lying. I thought we were talking about at work. You just, just admit. Okay, that you're Tahoe, lying. I'm lying. You're the first to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the soldier boy verse. <laughs> I was the first. One. I was the first one. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. I was the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, soldier, be ignorant with this shit. I don't do it either. I'll be lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying too. I, especially in the house. Mm. But outside, like I said, if I'm at work, I notice that I be people always go to the to the toilet and pee. Mm-hmm. And I mean, then they go wash their hands. I'm like, what's the point what of that? What it's worth, you know, things more shit happens when it's like that fresh out of the shower sex versus the quickie. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be putting my hands all in my mouth during the quickie and shit like that. But oh, like, yeah, I'm wild out, like that. At the shower, you know what I mean? Out the shower, everything goes. Are you, you OCD? I mean? <clears throat> uh, a little bit, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say so. What's but I'm, I'm also like just super conscious of like pH and shit like that. So like the littlest thing could like fuck with the yeah, pH. Yeah. So that for that reason, you know, I'm not. I've come to learn. I'm not. Mm-hmm. What you've come to learn that I'm not. <laughs> hey yo. I've come to learn that I need to be more hyper aware of pH balances. Yeah. It's very very important, and it's not most more times than not a fucked up pH balance is you, not her. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Really. Yeah, mm-hmm. is that what you know, or is that what you're just saying? More times because y'all are cappers. You're doing way like more shit to her week. pussy than she probably is. Yeah, you probably. Don't There's know. a lot of things that affect the vagina, though. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that can affect the vagina. Different fucking panties, panty, different uh, mo- uh, lotions and shit like that. Like all kinds of shit can affect the vagina. Yeah, but if you like, if she ain't have no capping. issues, if she ain't have no issues, and then she start fucking you, and her pH is off. It's not because she switched from Victoria's Secret to H and M. It can happen. But Ew, I'm not going to fight H&M panties? I'm just chatting. <laughs> he be fucking anybody else. So I'm sure he's seen some of them. I've seen some H&M panties before. But I'm just saying, like, women have their uh, specific... That that area is very sensitive. Mm-hmm. Things can happen in that area. They go through a lot. And it's not always a guy. It's, a lot of times it is a guy. A lot babies. of times it is a guy. But a lot of times they just go through shit. They use a different soap. That shit mm-hmm. irritate their yeah. shit. Like, there's a lot of things that happen down there. It's a very sensitive area. It's a whole life area down there. Even your soap could fuck up her shit. Mm-hmm. So oh, you could yeah, be yeah. dead ass washing up like real thorough, but you got some, you know, I don't know, Irish Spring, and she don't like the, your body don't work well. Rick like Irish Spring. So hmm? Rick, he he used Irish Spring. Oh really? I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, that's the weirdest shit I've ever heard. Irish Spring? What black man? You original black man? It that's smell your name? good though. It do it smell good. And Irish Spring yeah. is for white folk. Uh, it smell, it smell, it smell real good. I never seen a white person wearing sh- using shea butter. And it's soap. First well. of all, they definitely do. They, they definitely use yeah. shea butter. Shea butter. <laughs> they don't use it properly. Never seen black soap in the right. White House. 
<laughs> you ever see black soap in my house? Obama was there. Huh? Yeah. Obama was there recently. Yeah. It might be still some. Left. No, in a white people house. You never oh, seen black oh, no, soap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never house. seen <laughs> peppermint last steel soap. Is that Dr. Benjamin's or whatever? That's nah, they be Dr. having Bond. some unique shit yeah, from Dr. like Bond's. Whole Foods and all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's another first date thing that you should ask a woman or a woman should ask me? Mm-hmm. Um, if we know we're having sex already. Whatever it is, yeah, it's a sex conversation. How I like my balls to be played with. A woman should ask you, how do you like your balls to be played with? Mm-hmm. How does that question go? How do you like your balls to be played with? Over steak? Like, <laughs> over, over me balls. I, mean, I can see him asking that. Like, I can see either y'all asking that question, actually. Me asking somebody that? Yeah. You well, ask, not, not, well, you uh-huh. could be asking her. Why would her she, she ask me? <laughs> Boy, like, wow. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> I, I can see you, nigga. You just called me by. <laughs> you just called me by. They just slipped it in there. Like, yeah, I can see you asking that, bro. Yeah, that's what you get for stealing <laughs> so his good. toys. You just wait bro. for that one. <laughs> um, no, actually, so actually why this popped in is because I went, I went to the sex party. I actually got asked that. And I was like, nobody's ever really asked me how I like my balls to be played with. They just Well, like, that's, that's different because you're like, it. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Like, But it ain't that many conversations that I have about that kind of stuff just yet. But at a sex party, I could see somebody saying, like, we're, we're literally about to engage. Is there anything you don't like or that you're into that mm, you might want yeah. me to do? Mm. You know what I mean? I do do thorough negotiations with people, you know, before sessions. Um, but that's different from my sex life. And even in my, my sex life, you know, prior to my relationship, I still kind of, like, handled it the same way. So, you know, we covered, like, a lot. Consent a lot of shit has been so new for me. All of these kind of speeches, like literally, I literally just went in there and had sex. Whoa! Literally, not even just consent, but even even these type of negotiations, like you say, I've never had never done that before. Yeah, I mean, you just get so much. You get further just giving a woman a choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, I'm not saying you don't give women a choice. I'm just saying, like, no, you absolutely. literally just gotta ask a woman, like, hey, mm-hmm. do you mind if I touch you? Mm-hmm. Literally, that's it. You know what I mean? And not saying that it gives you free range to do everything, but at least you can start with, like, you know, because you want to start but slow anyway. But I'm scared anyway. of the no. I've and, always been scared of the no. Well, I've been a salesperson all my life, so I just know I go on to the next. It's a numbers game. It's literally, like, my numbers game. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel, I feel like if I got a girl in the crib, I'm trying to wait to the right moment. I don't want to ask because I, if I get the no, then I'm shut down. Yeah, well, see, that's another thing. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. You know what I mean? So, like, I, maybe you don't want to put, you know, be too too vulgar with it. Like, do you mm-hmm. mind if I stick, put my dick out right now? You mm-hmm. suck on it. I've done it that way. Right now? Like, no. <laughs> I've done yeah, that. You know what I mean? You might want to start out. with something slow. Like, I've always been kind of smooth with it, but even before like the pro dom stuff. So mm-hmm. like, I always started with like a massage. Do you mind if I, you know, started? Oh, with a you wanted those? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, that, it's effective. If it's, if it's broke, don't fix it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would love to be that guy. I'm just lazy. Like the, the okay. massage, and it's the next thing soon. you know, like the massage. Why you say that? I, I just feel like it will. Yeah, well, you, you you're exposing yourself to a lot of knowledge. You're talking to a lot of people. You 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 mm-hmm. it's going to evolve for you for sure. I'm not saying that what you're doing is not already efficient, but I'm saying like no, I would love to learn more shit. Yeah, I so. feel like Thanos. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm only Yo, like at the Soul Stone. I know the I got power at least two, you get more when you take your time. Oh, let yeah. that shit marinate. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's not pussy. Because that's how you separate better. yourself. I mean, if you want to, but I can see you being a type like, listen, if I ain't trying to be with you, I ain't doing the most. You know what I mean? So um, I think as a Pisces, I think that we pour into people that we don't fuck with like that. And that's why um, people get attached to us. Okay. You so, know what I'm saying? I think yeah. we pour into way too much, too many people. And we lie to ourselves about it. I think mm-hmm. Pisces lie to themselves about what they like. And then the next thing, they, one day they be like, hmm. Hold on, you said Pisces, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, ain't that the ones that pulls out two sides or something like that? That's Gemini. That's Gemini, Gemini right? Okay, but okay, it's, cool. Uh, Pisces is two, still two sides because you got fish going in two different directions. Gotcha. So you kind of all over the place. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I mean? So you spreading your so you energy, have mood swings and everywhere. shit like that. Absolutely, like, <laughs> like, yo. absolutely. All right, got you. We're here. We, I could, I could. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what are we talking about in the Discord? As a woman, I have to wash my hands before any sexual activity. Punani's are very sensitive. Can't take any chances. There's different way to play with balls. There's different ways to play with balls. Question mm. mark? Yeah. yeah. What are the different ways to play with with nuts, Orlando? Uh, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Is this a safe space for those kind of jokes? Because last week, y'all was in my ad. I was very oh, uncomfortable. Whoa, whoa. See? You really? <laughs> <laughs> what if that, nobody asked me if that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> nobody asked me about that. 
<laughs> you don't have any rights. Right. <laughs> I'm, yo, first of all, I just want to say to Kadeem, you know I love you to death. And and I, I last week was harsh, very hard for me. Really? Man, y'all the fuck, you two are traitors. <laughs> wow, man, y'all just it, it, it was tense in this room. We be in here joking all the time. You use the word educate. <laughs> you said we gonna educate Tahoe. We just trying to educate you. I didn't even oppy. Just very, oppy. weather in here got very oppy. <laughs> 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 but we're on a new week. Oh, that shit hurt last week, man. It's um, fine. I, I do want to say to any of the listeners that believe in us, son. It is not easy having those conversations. It's not. It's and and I, and I don't want to be the guy that always says the right thing because where do you learn from that? How do you right. learn from just saying the right thing? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It has to become a part of you. It has you have to believe that shit. You have to be able to navigate that room with your eyes closed. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's where I feel like both of y'all are fake. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> wow. I I I truly want y'all to know that I, my heart is in. I believe that my heart is in the best place when it comes to those conversations. They are difficult. Mm-hmm. It is difficult. And I'm glad I was able to do it with one of my friends. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but I still feel a responsibility to y'all to know, to let y'all know that I love y'all and I didn't mean no harm by anything that was said. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times nowadays we live in like the unforgiving stage of life oh, right now. Like oh. you can't make no mistakes. And I'm not talking about things that like hurt people. I'm talking about like even words. Like you can't be like, yo, I learned from what I said last yeah, week. Yeah, people, like, because people like, create nah, a folder still on your ass. <laughs> <You're> still- <laughs> Yeah, people create a folder. But I'm not really, th- thank God I've been canceled already <laughs> a million times. <laughs> so I ain't really worried about that. But I'm also, I am worried about my effect on the world. And mm-hmm, I want to mm-hmm, make sure mm-hmm. that I don't. I'm not stuck in my ego so much that I can't say, hey, I made a mistake or, hey, I'm sorry for that behavior. Like, I'm that much of a man where I can do that. Right. And it doesn't mean I'm weak. That's absolutely true. You know what I'm saying? It means like, yo, I'm, we're human. All of us, we can, one day we can make a mistake. The next day we can do something right. It doesn't make you great because you did something right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't make you fucked up if you did it wrong yesterday. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We can build, we can grow. Yeah, I mean, we're not in a very forgiving time, but I can actually, I could always appreciate when somebody acknowledges their fuck up, yeah. and acknowledges like like my POI. Um, she messaged me like one day, was just like, you know, I'm proud of you. Also, we had Piff Marty on, mm. and she was like, oh my god, I'm such a fan. And I was like, well, he's on my podcast. You should be a fan of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What's the POI? Uh, person of interest. Oh, okay, okay, it's an acronym. That's gotcha, why I have like gotcha. person of interest, person of pleasure, person of anal, like person of anal, person of sub. He's had. A, he's he. Yeah, but, I got a bunch of different ones. Gotcha. Yeah. So she messaged me like, oh, you know, I'm just so proud of you, and I know like you know a lot of things that we've been through. I have to take accountability for, and I'm just like, finally, now I feel so much better, mm-hmm. and now I can concentrate on the podcast and just. Not even realize I haven't. She hit me up one day and I was like, oh shit, I didn't even realize I haven't spoken to you in a while. Because it was just like so much pain that went behind me and her mm-hmm. that after me burying myself like in work, I don't even have to think about the hurt or the things that we went through. So gotcha. that's another reason why I like, I'd be so into um, the podcast now. Because now I could distract myself from all the pain mm-hmm. of me not having a girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, I think that you're going through that. But I think that also <laughs> that you're living a 29-year-old life. 30. 30. Oh, it's you're great enjoying your 30. fucking life. You're oh, enjoying your gosh. fucking life. Did you feel like this when you were you're 30? doing it? Because pe- most people that you're... Fu- uh, no, at 30, I was stressed out because I was on my way to prison. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> sorry to hear that. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> Awkward. Cringe. <laughs> yeah, it was very cringy. Um, yeah, but I realized as long as the way you're doing it, people know who you are. You're not mm-hmm. fooling nobody. You're being forward. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man people forward, are accepting of your energy. I'm being dick They forward. know who you are. You're, you know, you're not manipulating nobody. Mm-mm. So I can't be mad at you for that. You know, I can be a little jealous. I don't know. I that actually makes you a man of value. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> high quality high, man high right value. here. High value man yeah. right here. 
<laughs> just don't waste their time. That's what she don't Sorry. want you to do. Mm-mm. That's why you don't do the relationship because you're like, all right, listen, yeah. then I'm gonna let you down. Yeah, and, and sometimes I can see women like when I'm about to DM or we're having like a slight conversation, I can just see like, all right, this is how it's gonna play out. It's gonna go nowhere. Let me not. Mm-hmm. I don't want to waste nobody else's time. Now, if they, I could see the mutual wasting of time. It's mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, we're go. <laughs> mutual. <It's> so lit. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I kind of, I, I told you, I kind of get, um, I, I, I kind of don't like when I'm getting the, you're wasting my time back. Like when they're not, when they show me that they're only interested in dick and they go. You like the commitment. I, I'm, I feel like I like feeling like I'm manipulating the situation. <laughs> I don't like when the situation manipulates me back. <laughs> I like nah, nah. What you? Why you don't like? The why side am of I not role? special? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I don't yeah. think it's the manipulation. I think you want to feel special. I like, want to feel I special. put it on you. You supposed to be on my dick right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, this is just another day. It's just Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> that's real shit. I had um, I had, I had was finished with a session one time, and I had um, was waiting for my ride downstairs, and she went out and bust a move. I was like, "You ain't dead. Like, how you able to just <laughs> yeah. go and run to the corner store?" And I'm yeah. like, "You supposed to be upstairs recuper- recuperating." Nah, she's on the way to mail. She's like, yeah. "No, I gotta go." Yeah. Thanks for the foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Could you imagine? I'd be fucked up. Yeah. I realize that I'm very new to this. Oh damn, I had life. Something. No, I think he said that. I felt like the, I don't want to talk about myself anymore. You can, please, please. <laughs> no, because at the um, after the uh, play party I went to on Friday, mm-hmm. uh, one of the women that I had sex with, she was just like, uh, "I can't even get up right now," and she just laid down. And just she was like, "I just can't even get up. I can't even feel my legs." And I was like, "Yeah, you want some water?" She's like, "Please." <laughs> You want some water as a bar. That's man. facts. Yeah. Especially you, she butt said, ass yes. naked. Yeah, she was butt ass naked. You butt ass walking over and get some, 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 some water. Worn out. You feel like a king. I got a dick hard walking through the party. Just, mm-hmm. just, just feel water. like an Amazon. Like your hair. Sweat go, dripping. Baby. She watching you walk away and she. Yeah. Just feel, you feel like a god. Oh, to make it even worse. Oh my gosh. Two of the women that were there, they were like, we were just watching and gotta say, your strokes are amazing. I said, who me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that old thing! I just try to get such a whore. <laughs> Not old, old thing. Yo, I oh, really know how to play thing? into it. Yo, I know how to play into it. Good. I'm, I, you know, I was thinking about this sex party thing. We're going to Exotica. Oh yeah, it's tomorrow. Gonna be fire. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. What's not gonna happen? Right? Yeah. Shout out to my work wife. I heard a sh- a story on uh, Hot 97 this morning. And it was a guy that took his him and his girl went to a sex party, and they agreed to switch off. They were swinging. He went over here. He got a chick that was okay, and she went and got this strapping young man <laughs> that put the beats on his chick. <laughs> Had her screaming, flailing, pulling hair, choking mm. to the point where his strokes ain't even right over here. He's just watching, like, yo, mm-hmm. I've never seen that part of her before. That's the thing. Is it a thing? That's the thing. Now, Does I've it happen? Seen, I've seen that at my very oh. first sex party. How did you see it happen? What do you mean? It was this uh, Mexican couple. Um, I clearly know that he like told her it wasn't what it was. He must have been like, it might be a stripper party or something mm-hmm. like that. And they weren't like the uh, tradition, um, the the you know like aesthetically. Uh, they're not like the regular Mexican couple, like the short people, whatever. They were like, you know, taller and attractive and whatnot. I hope I said that right. Um, but they were like an attractive Mexican couple, this whatever. Stereotypically, yeah, like, yeah. No, because you know all right. So the thing about it is, we're from New York, right? So we have all different types of people here. So we know what we mean by like. I know exactly. What you mean. Yeah, I yeah. Mean. I don't mean not the stereotypical know. that you would think like, oh, short Mexican. Yeah, but I definitely like, no. didn't sort them right away. I'm like, oh, that's you know. I was whatever. too offensive last week. I'm shit. Sure. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm just looking at y'all like, yeah. is that right? No, yeah, is that right? Hold <laughs> It's a it's a whole different thing when you're like from New York or even like if you're from yeah. like 
Arizona, California, Arizona. Arizona. Like, like you know, there are two different types. Yeah. But yeah, they um mm-hmm. they came in there and I could tell like he didn't tell her the full story of what the club was about or whatever. Because mm-hmm. when she went in, the, she they went straight up to the um like the couple's room where they have sex in the back or whatever. And like she's like literally covering her face because she can't. She was like you know like in a, a place of shock or whatever the kiss would be. Then I seen this guy that I clearly you could clearly tell he be there, big black guy, and he was with like a. Uh, a woman who you can also tell that like, wasn't like his regular woman, just a woman. Because a lot of times men will use women to get inside those parties because they, yeah. get, they don't allow single men. But they don't want to bring their quote unquote main woman or the woman they love because they mm-hmm. want to bring somebody that they can just share with anybody mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So he just had like, you know, this other woman with him or whatever. And he started like trying to make the couple feel comfortable. But I already knew he was running game because he wanted the wife mm-hmm. or whatever. So he was like, he sucked his his girl on the husband was like, yo, you mind if my 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 girl, you know, plays with your man or whatever. And, and the guy was like, you know, ask my wife. And she was like, if he wants to, basically, or some, I guess if you want to. And he, the, 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 the Mexican jumped out of his clothes oh, right away yeah. let's get right it. away soon as soon like he ain't even wait no time and was right went over to the corner and started doing it and then like she's sitting there like all like reserve or whatever and a big black guy comes by sits down like so how's your first time here huh mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, next he's, thing, he's reeling it yeah, in yeah. you are killing me <laughs> with Yo, this story next thing you know this, oh, I'm a, now, his now, hand, now his Wilson, hand, now his Wilson. hand was on the shoulder his hand was on the um was on, was on her uh, thing cause I watch body language I'm like you go from talking now you mm-hmm. I all that touching when you talking to a woman, mm-hmm. or like yeah, I peeped that or whatever. But his hand was on her, uh, on her, on her thigh. And he was talking. Next thing you know, he was rubbing her. Then he went to her, eating her out, and then they finally started engaging. And he tore her ass up, mind you. That Mexican guy was done like five minutes after fucking the other girl, and he was just sitting there just having a watch. And she was getting railed. I mean, every position like that you could think of. And he was he was turning up. He was fucking her, then eating her pussy, fucking her, then eating her pussy. I was like, yeah. She ain't She's gonna gone. Be the same. She's she not ain't the same. No the same. More. <laughs> My, yo, it was, cause, and I seen her when she, when he, you know, he, he laid her on the bed to like start eating her pussy. She was still like kind of like covering her face, like mm-hmm. shot. And I, I saw this. This resonated with me. She looked over at her man, enjoying the fuck out of himself. And then she was like, "Oh, word, word. say no more." And it Boom. just opened up. Let's get it. I was like, oh my God. I'm about to wow you. Yeah. What about I, after? Oh. What was their behavior like? I don't after? know. I don't remember that. You I can't even lie. To. I can't. So that's just the thing. The part mm-hmm. of the story was that afterwards, he couldn't look at her the same. The mm-hmm. guy in the uh, Hot 97 story. Yeah. He could not look at his girl the same, and they broke up. Like very shortly after they left the sex party, they broke up. And I'm like, Am I? What is that? And that's not. They just not right for each other, honestly, because that's in her. I'm not saying that she did anything wrong or anything was done wrong. Like you should allow somebody to be themselves sexually, mm-hmm. as long as they're not putting you know nobody at risk or anything like that. But other than that, like you shouldn't be holding somebody back. Like don't tell somebody they can't enjoy themselves, mm-hmm. their full selves mm-hmm. at a party. But you let uh, what do while your chick out like that I shit mean, wouldn't fuck you up. I I, I mean I, I um. I experience compersion, so like I enjoy watching someone, mm-hmm. you know, pleasure my woman. So it's a little different for me. That, was a that should turn you up. Compersion. No, yeah. that's the thing. Uh, Weezy used it before. No, I was saying that's a word. That's yeah. a yeah. very so, good word. W- w- it actually makes me want to go harder when it's my turn. So this nigga, yeah. now you wilding. Yeah, now I'm wilding. This, this nigga talks like he dresses, yo. Yeah, that's, so. that's a good word. This is smooth. <laughs> <For> <laughs> shit. <laughs> I would like to be, th- I send to be that strong. I really do. Not even strong, but like comfortable. That's fair. And like officially in the game when you realize that that's just, this is an experience. Yeah. It's not that deep. This doesn't say nothing about your relationship. It, this is just an experience. And that was dope. All right, you were there. I'm going to get the damn flogger and, and, yeah. and, and yeah. the wheel. And we're going to yeah. take it up another level. While, he, while you sitting here shaking over that, I'm going to start tickling Punisher. your ass. Pun- and, yeah. nothing, there's nothing wrong with punishing her and after that. Like, mm-hmm. like really mm-hmm. take out mm-hmm. your anger. You know what I mean? Still remain safe as far mm-hmm. as like making sure you ain't doing yeah. nothing that's like going to kill her. But like, yeah, beat her ass. Like, why are you fucking her and shit? Like, oh, you mm-hmm. like all that dick talk shit to her? Like, you like giving my pussy away? Oh, but what oh, you yeah. beating her with anger? Like, yeah, you're not that, supposed to do that. Well, you. It's not. It's, it's not, not a, the same. I mean, you can use the energy that you that you had from that experience experience because it's, it's all about like um energy energy transfers like they speak about it in like uh think and grow rich like you want to transfer the energy of one thing into another mm-hmm. some into a positive outlet so to yeah. speak so, so it's yeah. like you're transferring jealousy and yeah 
um, using like a transformer, mm -hmm. electrical terms, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going from like AC to DC, but you're transferring jealousy to pleasure. Right. And it's going to turn you on. It's going, it's going to take you mm -hmm. to a different place. Like, you unlock levels in your head. Like, mm -hmm. you know, all of that stuff they speak about, like tantric sex and chakras and opening up all of Like, it's a real thing when you tap into your emotions and you don't run away from them. Mm. So That's good. Yeah. good. Also, if you look into the chat right there, reconnection sex mm -hmm. is fine. Reconnection sex. Me and my submissive, we have, a, we have a rule where we have to end the night after a party with us engaging before we go to bed. Mm. So like no matter what happens at the party, you know what I mean. When we get home, it has to be us to end mm. it like that. So that's something that we do. You know what I mean. We have our, you know, everybody has their way of dealing with things. My see, my me and my that POP always happens do that. Us, though. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, every time we come home, mm -hmm. we we enjoy us each other. See, me and my POP didn't do. Well, we couldn't do that. Now I think about it. Why? Um, it was time of month. Mm. Oh, so yeah. but host not not open. Huh? What? This nigga is wild, bro. Wild boy. This nigga is a wild boy. Hey, man, I heard what you said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I was gonna say, what well, was happening? I was like, yo, swinging is a very intense thing, and it's it sounds so good in theory, mm -hmm. and people don't realize in practice you really have to be mentally strong. There's a gate there that so much is on the other side of that. You have yeah, to like, there's so much on the other side of that. Yeah. You, you have to like um, change your whole game of what, the way you used to approach sex mm -hmm. um, when you're in a relationship that is open and allows that kind of thing. Because I'm a, I'm naturally a hunter, so I'm like I move when I see or when mm -hmm. I'm when I'm you know triggered or whatever. Mm -hmm. But as a, now when I'm in a relationship, it's a little different because you don't want to make it seem yourself make yourself seem thirsty. Because a woman look at you like, why are you all in my face if you got a woman? You yeah. know what I mean? So it's a little different, mm -hmm. and you know. So in a lot of cases, you got to make her the hunter and some, you know. That's what I'm trying to do now. Yeah. So I'm just chilling. Like, I haven't hunted in a long time. Yeah. But and it's, but it's more about making her feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's more about making her comfortable. And I'm trying to, I'm thinking the long game. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the long game with it. So, but it's, 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 um, it's tricky. Yeah. It's very, it's very tricky. I think the only woman I could do that with currently is um, Mila. But Mila is fucking, she's a thoroughbred. She's with whatever. She's with it. Yeah, but that's the only person I, I feel like I know right now currently that um, I can do that with. Why? Comfortably. Um, all right, so. I don't believe that because of the things that you've done, say, this weekend. Th that person is, is with whatever. Um, Play party. Her? Well, no, but Mila have an actual, like, type of rapport and relationship with. Mm -hmm. So somebody that I actually have feelings for, I feel like I can do like seeing them um, have sex with somebody and then me and them, like that's the person I go home to. Mm -hmm. I remember I was saying like, it's because of um, men, we have this perception of women when we first meet them. And when that perception, ch perception changes, then it's just like, uh, I'm not, men aren't necessarily always com comfortable, but because my perception of Mila was this, outgoing like very explorative like person then to see her in that space it wouldn't bother me at all like it would say my POI mm -hmm. so I think like the power comes from like you accepting her and that mm -hmm. thing so that's what I was going to say with you like you know if you want to grow or learn to to accept it more like you're watching another man enjoy your woman um especially when it's good because not when it's bad when it's bad I would, it's easy I would to think more it. of it watching her enjoy another man yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. versus and, another man and, 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 and like that I said it, it, it can't be mm -hmm. bad <laughs> sex or mediocre sex like you gotta experience what it's like for her to really really be enjoying herself you know what I'm saying so um but that is a power because now she knows she can literally do anything with you so like why would I give that up? Like, you know what I mean? For, yeah. you know, somebody that she doesn't even know and he probably got his own issues. She know what she's dealing with, what she got with you. And most importantly, she feels safe. She feel like I could explore my yeah. sexuality with you in ways that I never could with nobody else. Especially like, you know, in our community as black men, like, we, you know, traditionally in the vanilla world, they're not necessarily like running to share their women with anybody. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. when you find a strong black man that's secure enough to be like, yo, listen, I want to not only let you do it, I want to watch it. Mm -hmm. I want to join. And then when we're done, I'm going to tear that ass up. That's different. That's different. Yeah. That's a whole nother stage. That's, a, that's another stage. That's a whole nother yeah. stage of yeah. comfortability. Because a man ain't got no problem asking for a threesome. Like, let's mm -hmm. be real. Mm -hmm. They ask for their birthday. They ask mm -hmm. for <laughs> special occasions. They're like, man, you know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's Valentine's Day. Let's spice it up. And you mm -hmm. got it. She got to deal with that. So what if she came home like, yeah, there was this guy at work or this guy I seen on the subway or whatever? Mm -hmm. Like, you should be able to deal with that too. You know, 
I'm not saying you. I'm saying for most. Nah, you yeah. can say me because I'm, yeah. I'm paying attention to all of it. Because like I said, I be ch- I be fighting my own thoughts and wondering where they come from, mm. and emotions and wonder where they come from. Yeah, the number one um, fantasy, not even fantasy. The number one thing people um, feel comfortable, women feel comfortable telling me about um, them desiring is like multiple men at the same time. Yeah, we heard that's, a lot on the show too. Yeah, I'm more, like that's a big thing, and I mm-hmm. think the more uh, taboo we make it as men, the more they want it even more. Like, you know? yeah. So, yeah, big thing. Very <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Man, you tell them, go ahead and do it. They're like, oh, what no, do you no, mean I by go ahead? <laughs> <laughs> but I also think about that because mm-hmm. we, we, um, we had a conversation about being just in an open relationship, right? Where we would just say, all right, we don't have to be monogamous. We could be, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. And she was like, you know, is that what you want? And I was like, no, <laughs> because I don't like you. I don't want the you just be The unknown is off. dangerous. You, you know what I'm saying? Just be yeah, out no. doing whatever. Yeah, no, I, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. no. men think worst case scenario. Yeah. Even the, even one case scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I'm not thinking like that. I wanted you to just go off. I want us to do this shit together. Mm-hmm. I enjoy you like you. I don't want you just off doing whatever. No, yeah. I'm not. Into would you that. would you surprise your woman with a guy? Like if, if you, that's what her thing. If, if if you if you discovered a guy that she was interested in, maybe you know, like you know how the we Trey are. songs. Like if I know she loved Trey songs. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, somebody yeah. regular, regular too. You know what I'm saying? Because Trey songs a little bit out of reach, but not you, for me. Well, not for you. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but would you surprise like 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 you know what I mean? Maybe get a yeah. hotel room and have yeah. a guy yeah. like come in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah. That's hot. That's if hot. that's what she wanted. Yeah. But like, how would she be able the to... The reason I say if that's what she wanted because she loves me to a point where she wouldn't do something that she thinks... It's going to bother you. It's going to bother me. So we already have got to have been past that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I leave her there with... And leave, she probably wouldn't. No, no, no. I wouldn't suggest you do that either. You're, not leave, but you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, let her have her own space with... Mm-hmm. She... Because she's in her head about it, it would fuck her up and she probably wouldn't even be able to enjoy it as much. She'd probably go through with it. Yeah. But she wouldn't be able to enjoy it as much because she's wondering the ramifications later. Which, yeah, that's the overthinking. Would you enjoy it if she, if you came home and she... I beg for it sometimes. Yeah, so maybe... Because I've done it with women with yeah, her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go get that or I'll have women show up I think that's the sexiest fantasy left. Like, that's something oh, on my bucket list, yeah. Somebody mm-hmm. to surprise me with a threesome. Nigga, you home sleep and you climbing. Yeah. It's like three chicks climbing in your bed and yeah. you like, oh, oh shit. Like, what's <laughs> Baby. Give me the rock like gummies. They just putting gummies in your mouth yeah. and shit. That's <laughs> 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 a, a long, long night, day. nigga. But let me say, let me wrap it up by saying, like, the same way we got excited about that, mm-hmm. women get excited about that idea mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, well, like, I've done that for her already. Oh, so well, with a woman or with a man? With two women. No, it gotta be. Him. I'm saying if she's into that, you know right. what I'm saying. There's a lot of women that are like you said, with the people want to, you know what I mean, the followers, and whatnot. Um, there are a lot of women that would like to be surprised with a male, male threesome. I they will tell to you this. I think that she and I have to get past that gate. It sounds like you got to get past it because she already let you have it with a woman. When? When? Mm-mm. Well, you never had a threesome with a woman. Um, we've had fun. But oh, we have not a natural. Full. Oh, okay, okay, we okay. Gone full. But even so, like, as a unit, mm-hmm. I think we, because I'm open to her, to, to serving her in whatever level. Gotcha. I'm open to serving her in whatever level. I'm open to having those kind of conversations. Right. As a unit, she and I, it's not just her, it's not just me. As mm-hmm. a unit, we got to get past a certain place where the things on the other side are still comfortable for us when we come back home. Gotcha. Oh, I gotcha. see what you're saying. One, you know what I'm saying? In cases you've been serving her or she's been saying like, oh, well, would you like this? But you want to go, y'all want to go into I it wanna, together. I, want, I don't want her to, like say, if, if I were to get the guys, I don't want her to be thinking about what I'm going to think. Yeah. Or, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, mm-hmm. he's just doing this for me. Mm-hmm. I want us to be fully comfortable with it and that's going to that takes time for us it just takes time yeah and trust and you know a lot of these exercises and conversations Mm and maybe therapy i don't know Mm -hmm. but we're working towards that and and for me the 80 percent of the dope part of us is strong enough enough for us to take time we got mad time yeah there ain't no rush Mm -hmm. i this it's not just that's that's a good point too yeah you Mm -hmm. know what i mean building the foundation for all of that yeah. and playing like i said the first time i went to a sex party my dick didn't get hard it was mm-hmm. kind of fun. it was yeah 
the sex time I went, I was ready. It's like I'm here, but I'm shy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so as we go forward and we do more and more, but in between all of that, we still have relationship things that we working on. Yeah, um, I just realized I can't, uh, I can't play at parties. That's probably a thing I'm gonna stop doing or trying to do. Why? As much as I'm an exhibitionist, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it, it's. I guess it's too much anxiety, and that's crazy to say for a person like me. Anybody that knows me knows that I stay hard, but like, mm -hmm. I think um, I manifested a fear of mine that like, you know, me being a black man doing BDSM and doing all of this kinky shit. Like, I think my worst fear is them thinking I'm compensating for not having dick because you know, or or like your dick doesn't work nice. So like I went to a party once upon a time and after a performance, I was like, all right, well, let's get it in. We're going to engage or whatever. And I shit was like limp. And I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah, and then I saw, I felt like everybody was looking at me like, oh, that's why you do all that mm -hmm. shit because your dick don't oh. work. And I'm like, no, that's not what it is. Come on. And the work, when you, once you start talking yeah. to it, it's yeah. over. Like yeah. you got to be, yeah. You got to hold yeah, your, your player. Back be okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I always show it with some support. <laughs> I always go in with a fucking Robin to my Batman. I'm going to have a sex pill. I'm going to have a gummy. I'm going to have something that's going to keep but me up I that night. But I think I agree with him but I on see what, what anxiety does to your confidence. Oh, yeah. And it's everything. But my thing for you is, if this is really your life, don't go thinking you got to do nothing. Just chill. Yeah, that's what my sub says all the time. Just and chill. I, and, I, and the thing is, like, I'm a... I, yeah, this is the hardest of a podcast. I'm a grower, not a shower. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, if right. I'm not hard, I'm like, yeah. my shit I'm yeah. hides. Like, yeah. and I'm like, damn. And I'm trying to show <laughs> but confidence. Anxiety hides yeah. it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your shit yeah. be tucked back yeah. like a turtle. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, like nah, yo, where's you the. You can't even give me a medium swole right I now. I can't so even can pee with this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, let me look good in the gray sweats, yeah, yeah. please. Like, like, disappears, on. nigga. Like <laughs> I've had. I'm telling you, the night that Molly, Mistress Molly, and her people was here, mm -hmm. my shit was the smallest it's ever been. I gotta, I gotta work with this yeah, woman. Yeah. Like at least give me a peer. Yeah, make it, make it, make it, make it. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you call me? <laughs> I totally understand that, but yeah. also understand that mm -hmm. I've had that experience maybe twice. Mm -hmm. Back to back, it was right. here with Molly. Then it was next time at her sex party. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until the next time after that. And yo, it's same thing. It was her party. Bro. It was her party. Mm -hmm. Like that was when it happened to me at her party. See? But they, but her, but the room that I feel like the room is big enough for you to all right just disappear with yourself, like just kind of mm -hmm. be in your own world with your person. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that I think was was the ability for me to come in next time and kind of be more. Um, Man. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I hear all of that anxiety and everything. You don't, you don't I play ain't fair. Chancing it. Yeah, ain't chancing. I'm taking something. You gonna get this dick roids? I thought about it. I thought about it. This dick roids. You're getting this dick roids, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. Mm -hmm. Not today. I took a rhino. Last paper. I took a rhino. That was the, that, that was, was good the, money. The, the party I was talking about. The, literally the last one, the Black and King that just passed. The last um two were, oh, yeah. were was great. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was I put in work mm -hmm. at the end of the party, but um. At this, this last one, mm -hmm. it was the probably the, the most people that was there, and mm -hmm. a lot of people were still like, had, yeah, it was it was a lot of people with eyes on me because they was waiting to see what I do next, mm -hmm. and that shit was just like that's everybody. a fire nigga. I'm and mind you, I'm like it's like you know, but it's it's always gonna be fewer people playing than it is people watching. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? Because it was so many people, it was a lot of people watching. Mm -hmm. And like I was one of the few people that was butt ass, because I'm not afraid to get butt ass. Like I'm not mm -hmm. one of them that like pull my pants down and fuck you through my pee hole. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna like get yeah. Yeah, I'll get butt ass. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to put my clothes back on. Right, mm -hmm. right. I don't feel the the need. I still remember who I am, and that was a thing for me. Um, being Tahoe. In that room, it's kind of hard with all of those eyes. Everybody know you. They ex they expecting Tahoe mm -hmm. from the podcast. Yeah, and oh, you can yeah. lose it mm -hmm. a little bit because almost it's like you said to me before, performative. And you want now people to see be, it. Yeah, you want people to see I you. Know my shit is, I, I was. Yo, and I'm, now I'm stroking harder yeah, than I ever yeah, done. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, that's not how I fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's not how I fuck. I do at a point yeah. when I'm comfortable, but that's. I had to remember who I am, right. mm -hmm. and I'm good either way. That's it. That's what you got to do. That's what I'm saying. That's why I, where I am, I'm sensual. So I'm making love every single time, uh -huh. and it's to the point where, um, if I'm, I, I was talking, I was telling a story about when I was in um, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and I was having sex with prostitutes, and the whole time it was like love making, very sensual, lots of love. 
the the play party has went to it was mad sensual slow strokes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i remember part. you had a, it was a conversation you had about yeah. having slow strokes at a, at slow, a sex party. oh slow i mean slow yeah. stroking at the sex that was yeah. mr smiley i was yeah. slow stroking at the sex was, nigga was like what's wrong I with you i was like you. that's how i am i had um I, my thing is like i i, I do foreplay before sex I'm, mm-hmm. big, I'm big on foreplay before mm-hmm. sex and like sometimes it might seem like i'm doing the most for somebody mm-hmm. i'm just about to do mm-hmm. a couple minutes nah. or whatever. i'm like nah that's just i'm gonna warm you up properly i'm still gonna give you the proper stimulation yep. you deserve and mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it don't even matter where'd you learn that um shit I, I learned that when i was a teenager honestly why um i was most coming guys f- just teenagers just got the dick hard they well i was go. i was um so i brought my first sex toy when i was about 16 because um i was dating this older woman and um i was coming fast and i wanted to figure out how to stop coming so mm-hmm. fast and i went on google and you know how that take you to a whole bunch mm-hmm. of other shit and mm-hmm. next thing you know i was reading articles about yeah, women google when he was 16 yeah, yeah I, I forgot i'm in a whole yeah. different world mm-hmm. yeah. i was thinking about it too i was like <laughs> yeah so women um women were on there talking about their experiences during sex and next thing you know i kept seeing women talk about well the only way i come is when i use my vibrator my vibrator my vibrator and i was like what's a vibrator like why is it so important so i went and i went to the sex store and downtown on west fourth or whatever and uh mm-hmm. um got me a vibrator whatever bullshit i could afford or whatever and so i west used fourth. it during sex with my my partner and i realized that like she it was crazy and she was she was having so much fun and i was so entertained by that i didn't even think about coming i just wanted to keep going i'm mm-hmm. like yo mm-hmm. and then i thought like let me get another toy and another toy and another toy mm-hmm. another oh, toy. i'm a while out, I'm a while out. out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so i bought my yeah. first sex toy when i was 16 too so i bought it for my mom for mother's day so essentially i figured out that uh, <laughs> How'd you how'd you come how'd you figure out what to buy? It was a massager. I thought okay. it was a back massager. <laughs> yeah, nah. oh, yeah. They don't massage backs. <laughs> I had no idea until yeah. I was like 30 something what I actually bought her. She still got it? Yo. Probably. <laughs> Shit, let me do listen, man. But they, it was a they wand. Work well. They work well. It was a wand. Back in the days, it was back massages. I want to know which person actually just was like. I don't think that was a long <laughs> process either. I don't right? think I think it happened like the first week of yeah, the woman yeah. having it. The like, first actually, time. Calm yeah. it's, it's like, like the shower, it's like the new shower head. But yeah. why would they sell it to me at 16? Why would they sell it to me at like massager. 14 years old? It was it's Mother's Day. And I went, I was like, oh, it's 1999. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So it's a massage. Probably. Right on West Fork, right next to the tattoo shop. Yeah. He was in the store like, oh, that little nigga horny. But I got my money. I had no idea. I wrapped that shit up, gave it to my mother. I know she was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, this sorry. kid is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you going out to play ball? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta come back no time soon. You'll be all right. Lock the door on your way out. Right, like the- <laughs> put a little jingle thing on the door. Ching mm-hmm. <laughs> ding. ding. Oh, <laughs> but now nah, you really gotta um, you gotta you gotta fuck how you fuck. Don't don't worry about how other niggas score their points. Mm-hmm. Get it out. You get your, your your points at the free throw line. Get it at the free throw line, and that's how I go about sex parties. And shit, it works out. You never felt the first show, none of that. You never felt no anxiety. The very first one, the very first, um, Mr. Smarley. We're about to do a sex party, a play party. We are. We're about to do a play party. But well, he said he don't play fair, so well, I don't. Because he he he's, he's popping the um the pills and all of yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we about to we about to curate yeah. our own mm-hmm. atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to tell anybody about it? You want to tell people about the play party October 9th for Harder Soft is coming after the Harder Soft live show. Why did you have to do the whole transformation thing? Transformation thing. Because you remember I talking my arms, my body, it just like flows better. Oh, now nah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever, <laughs> oh, ever <laughs> flows better, V. <laughs> now, me, October 9th, Heart of Soft Play Party is coming soon. I know you, you guys have been waiting to see what we're going to do. We are vetting, going through the vetting process. We're, we're getting couples. We're getting women. Um, before we let any single men in, we're going to make sure that the ratio is right as far right. as couples, women. Mm-hmm. After that, we will pick the men to, you know, what somebody said earlier, supply and demand. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically, mm-hmm. because we don't want a bunch of guys walking around, you know, making women uncomfortable originally. And we, we spoke to a guy um, who, like, I really want to have him come on the show. He told yeah. us that these spaces were created for black women, or mm-hmm. for women. But, mm-hmm. but for him, he's like, for black women. And it is to make a space that is very comfortable. 
You will not have to get naked. You don't mm -hmm. have to show up and get butt ass. This is your time, your space yeah. to get comfortable with this. This is our space to mm -hmm. get comfortable with this. Mm -hmm. Because I've never done nothing like this before. Right. So I'm trying to really curate a space that people will feel like heterosexual black men created a space for black women mm -hmm. that is safe and is 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 we will do consent speeches. Mm -hmm. We will um have like Orlando was like, yo, let's do a glory hole. And I was like, no, because that's for you. Let's do a glory hole for women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's do a meat pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, do a meat pocket or something, you know, <laughs> or whatever. But um <laughs> I want to make sure that you guys know that there are no expectations. Yeah. Like, I w I'm just trying to tell Sir Marvelous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, I need you to relax. I'm about to rip <laughs> You got to get a drop. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Marvelous. That this is really the performative thing for me was what fucked me up. Mm -hmm. the, the, thing, the thought that I had to do something. That I had to. Let me be warn you now. Great. As or maybe I don't know. He might try, mm -hmm. but I, most of the times I, I'm the host. They don't play as much because they be so worried about making sure everybody else has a good time and make sure that mm -hmm. every. A lot of a lot of people that host sex parties don't get to play, mm -hmm. and it's not because they don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's not because you know they don't mm -hmm. desire to. Or as a host, you make as sure as a host, good. you're in host mode. You like mm -hmm. you got you need anything. You need anything. You safe. You feeling good. Mm -hmm. You I'm trust me. You think you're gonna be out there slinging as much as you want mm -hmm. to? You're gonna be like, nah. I'm make sure everybody good. And nothing ain't popping off that I ain't. That's good. what I would think. Uh -huh. I can see myself. Yeah, yeah. You know That's saying? why I said, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but but it, still, it, it still kicks in because this is your baby. You know, hardest off yeah. is your baby. So, like, you're going to want to make sure that everything everything's good. You gonna, it's going to be hard for you to get mm -hmm. lost in the moment when you don't know what's happening. So, mm -hmm. I'm saying this. I'm trying to prepare as much as I can to make sure everything is copacetic because I want to train ran on me. So I will literally be there waiting uh -huh. for whoever <laughs> to gotcha. come do whatever. But I think it's just really what? No, he oh. don't, um he said uh dress down varies part of the party. Some playhouses have a mandatory dress down before you go through the door. Others have designated nude areas and clothed areas. I like that idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um but being that this is our first thing, I would like people to feel mm -hmm. the comfortability to grow into this with us. Right. Like I've always said, I, this is a lifestyle I just walk through the door. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people are walking through with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I not going to walk in and be like, yeah, you got to suck a dick nah. right now. No. Well, I, I, I'll tell you <laughs> the importance. And it was a, 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 a friend of mine that helped me realize the importance of dress down literally this weekend. Her name's Zuri. Um, <clears throat> she's told me that uh, the dress down rule is for two things. It's for the, for the men and the women that, to feel comfortable when they're engaging. So think about it. If, you, if, you're, if you're a woman, right, and you're in a, at a play party and you're surrounded by 10 guys fully clothed, still got their hat on, still got their sweaters mm -hmm. on or whatever they came in, you know what I'm saying? And you're butt-ass naked. How mm. comfortable do you mm. really feel mm. like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing for the men. You know what I mean? Believe it or not, when we speak about anxiety, you're on a bed trying to get, you know, trying to get busy and there's a bunch of people around you fully dressed just watching you like you mm -hmm. some type of performance monkey or something like that. So do you so, think yeah. what there should be like a time where There's, everybody has I, to? I, I recommend a time, you know what I'm saying? And I understand not wanting to put pressure on people. This might be their first party, they mm -hmm. don't, you know, whatever. But at least an area. At least an area where mm -hmm. like if you come past this right here, dress down, you don't got to be butt naked, but at least be in, you know, like, you know, underclothes. Underwear, underclothes. underclothes, yeah. More comfortable for the at, at the very least, because it's vulnerable. You, this person's, yeah. but there's five people behind you fully dressed, and your ass is out right mm -hmm. now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You feel kind of like... Yeah, like a, lot, a lot of people aren't as exhibitionists. Yeah. They're, well, a lot of people are actually more voyeurs than exhibitionists, so mm -hmm. I can understand that. And that's a um, question that I've been getting a lot is, you know, if we decide to play and then, like, change our minds to just be voices is that okay and it's like it's Absolutely. perfectly fine like there is no pressure to play actually that's one of the questions that um we give with the vetting process so if you really want to be a part of the play party i'm letting you know now you have to dm us and i will send you the questions to ask so you can email the heart of soft pod so you can dm me at dear orlando roy or the heart of soft pod on instagram or twitter can they dm you Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> or they can email Hardersoft. Or you, or you can email Hardersoftpod at gmail.com and we will send you the information to fill out, send it back to us, and we will have you down so we can choose you for the vetting. Um, so you can go through the vetting process. We can choose you to get a ticket for the Hardersoft play party. So what yeah. do you think this thing with this uh, dress down thing? Because it, it sounds like it's more about making the people who are Engaging, engaging more comfortable mm -hmm. than the people who are thinking about it. 
Um, I, for me, sorry, very quickly, mm-hmm. very quickly. That pressure didn't happen for me at the ones that I went to earlier. And I just felt comfortable coming out of my clothes when I was ready. And yeah. then I felt comfortable putting them back on when I was ready. Mm-hmm. I never really had, like, for walking through the party butt ass to get to the bar. That's not, yeah. That was nervous for me. I was comfortable over there in our corner. Mm-hmm. Naked, I was comfortable, right? Before anything else, I was comfortable over there. But then I got to go over there and get two drinks. Yeah, excuse me, excuse I, me. Yeah, excuse yeah. Me. So yeah, I yeah. put my clothes back on and I'd go back over there. And I didn't think about it. I don't I don't know if there was a dress Let me give room. you a tr- uh, something that's underestimated um, at parties. Towels. Get a butt, slow the towel. I know that sounds crazy. It might sound like a lot of laundry, but like mm. towels don't be as accessible at, t- at parties as much as you would think. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It'd be like 10 towels is 100 people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Either that or people got to bring their own towels. But at least, you know, when it comes to dress down, at least you could cover yourself with a towel. Um, my uncle used to go to parties all the time, and he said like they had a, like a towel rule. Towel and slippers was all you was allowed to wear. But at least you had something to cover yourself. So like you said, when you're walking around, that's you don't feel fire. I'm thinking mm-hmm. about like hand towels and regular towels also. That's like well, just to clean you yourself. I mean, I wasn't burning really? yourself well, with no, the yeah, hand yeah, towels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, regular you could towel if you want to be just so that you can you walk be through. super or whatever. But at yeah. least have a bunch of towels because in theory, yeah, in theory, good. like have mm-hmm. a bunch of towels. If you got a hundred guests, like have a good amount of towels because people gonna want to freshen up mm-hmm. and they feel more comfortable grabbing a towel, walking around in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just get a linen. I could get um homie that does the restaurant. He deals with a linen spot. All right, so we got we got some ideas. Yo, Heart of Soft. That's a really dope ass idea. That's an October 9th, Heart of Soft live show, Heart of Soft play party. And they're gonna be NYC. surprised. Yeah. A lot of times, um, you know, what I what people expect at parties is way different than what it is. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. such a cool vibe. That's why I got addicted to yeah, going to parties yeah. because it's like you're literally just going to a cl- like a club of like environment, mm-hmm. use music, sometimes mm-hmm. hooker, you know, people smoking, mm-hmm. drinking, dancing, you know what I mean? And then you got an opportunity to see some sex or have some sex. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, it's really such a vibe that, like, you can't pass up on. Like, yo, that's what I've been trying to tell because when people try to ask me, like, yo, what is it like? It's, and I say, on a regular night, sex, if somebody's having sex in the room and nobody else is having sex, it's like, that's what grabs the attention. Mm-hmm. But when you're in a room and it's no longer taboo, mm-hmm. you no longer feel like I have to just pay attention to the person having sex. So you're actually at a more calmer vibe and you can do so many other things so you can have just a conversation you can just have a drink you just be chilling and somebody could be fucking next to you but because everybody is doing it it doesn't feel as like yeah. stringent has on, anything ever gotten pressure. awkward for you after the sex party like with a person that you seen there or knew there like has it ever got for uh, either one of you um the only awkward thing that's I, I feel that's ever happened is like when that vibe and energy isn't like the same yeah what do you mean? It it just so you met her there and then you try to meet her again and it wasn't the same. No, we no we met there and like while we're like you know you have your conversation you know you want to play whatever consent and everything and then when you're getting into it it's just like we just not vibe we're not on the same energy the sex just isn't good mm. then you met at a sex party and sex isn't good it's like at a club and the dance isn't good mm. yeah that kind of sucks yeah. Exactly. That kind of sucks. But now you're naked and your dick is in. <laughs> what about you, Marvelous? <laughs> um, I can't really say I had any. It, I hope you don't moment. think I'm, I'm mocking you. I'm not. No, no, I, I like it because I actually have this thing. Um, really I'm going to start streaming man. soon and, like, you know, my Twitch shit is going to be like, Marvelous, darling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> this, yeah. I am impressed yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you know that. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I actually that went and bought the bear claw. I appreciate that. You knew I was. Yeah, I actually went to get it from and all that. Like, I am totally impressed with you. I've I've heard people speak about you. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You've yeah. grown a lot in this game, as, yeah. you know. Um, has anything ever gotten weird with you at any of these functions? I mean, honestly, and I'm just saying, nah. I want to teach people honestly, who may have never done this things not to do. Honestly, no. Nah. I mean, like, but I'm I'm a nerd, so like, I try to do, I try to research and understand things before mm-hmm. I go into things big time, and especially like being a black man and doing what I do. Like, I'm I'm over analyzing how to make people feel comfortable. Like, if anything, I'm probably the person walking away like, damn, feeling a little, you know what I mean, like mm-hmm. cheated or whatever or, or, or weird. But I try my very best to not have any energy between me and another person at a party because things could get blown out of proportion and you make a woman feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. or yeah. types of things or anything like that, 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 could, that could start a fire big, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, nah, honestly, that, that's my perspective, you know what I mean? There might be weird times for other people, especially if they're going as a couple, but just like... Have a time, just just 
if you're going as a couple to a party, just debrief. Debriefing is breaking down your experience after um, and, and a particular experience. So whether it be sex or at a sex party, like what was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? What's something you wish would have happened? Mm -hmm. What's something you wanted more of or you didn't really care for too much? And then that's how you, 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 you'll you learn, you know what I'm saying, how to improve the next experience. Like me and my submissive, we've been like literally like... Um, working on our approach and how we're going to move at parties and things like that not that it's been bad but you know we want to make sure everybody's getting what they want out of the experience so we mm -hmm. talked about like we even had this idea <laughs> probably gonna blast it she's gonna give me a tr i can't say it all right yeah but we got some some ways to communicate in the way other people don't know mm -hmm. and we're like giving signals to one another like mm -hmm. yeah and then we just because i we got this ongoing joke like we both like true blood so um like we want to we, and we big on like uh Myth mythical creatures so I, i'm like we're like vampires and we're gonna devour this woman together mm -hmm. and fuck on top of her body like mm. that's the type of shit we're into you know what i mean so it's 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 gonna be hot it gets crazy <laughs> I, I love the fact that you guys move in a way that is unison yeah i i, I, I totally <laughs> i love that and how did you get there how long did it take for y'all to get there i can't even say um that it was anything that I did because I was lucky enough. I've been really lucky, man. I've been really lucky. Like, she she was a beast before I met her. Like, mm -hmm. yo, I seen her eat pussy one time and I was like, oh my God, like, mm -hmm. teach me. <laughs> teach me. <laughs> a lot of women, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak for anybody else, but my experience has been really, really good. So when you find somebody who, because I was always afraid, me being a, a a hypersexual person, you know, from, you know, younger or mm -hmm. whatever, I'm afraid to tell, I was always afraid to tell a woman that I was dating, like, how much I think about sex, how much I want, or the type of fantasies I've had. But when you meet somebody who's, like, on that level or even above and you feel mm -hmm. comfortable sharing, like, that's a blessing in itself, you know what I mean? So, like, she was like, just tell me, tell me, tell me everything you want to do. I'm like, all right. not saying that everything is all on the table, but, like, she don't make me feel bad. And mm -hmm. I'm, I got some crazy ideas. I literally tell her, like, I'll be like, this might be a bad idea, <laughs> but this is what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just tell me. I And we have this thing where I'm like, safe space. Mm -hmm. She's like, safe space. I'm like, well, I was thinking. And she's like, nah, I ain't going to work. I do the same thing. <laughs> do you? Yeah. yeah. You ask I, for the safe space, open yeah. door. Key. I say, hey, safe place. I done with Mila. That's how I came across the blood play when I asked her. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Love, still love yeah. it. Like vampire blood play. Like, am yeah. I in the wrong room? You're in the room. <laughs> That's it, I mean, you definitely did tell him to run that red light. So uh, Earlier. I, yeah. Wait, earlier today? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't I say go in the butthole? That's there's nothing red in there. It's brown. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm actually really I'm actually really enjoying this because I feel like this is our first male dom that we've had. Not well, other half. than half. Half but but half um we didn't have in person. Right. Right. So I think you actually the he first. He wasn't in person. I felt like I was. He went and met him in in. Yeah, that was a Patreon episode. Patreon episode. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but we had him like um, on Zoom. So you actually the first male dom we've had on the show in person. Gotcha. Like, what made you start doing the things that you do, with uh, uh, the experimentation and whatnot? You play with fire. You play with claws. Uh, what else do you do that's out of outlandish? I mean, I'm, I'm big on breath play. I um, breath play. Breath play makes sense with the barking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very. A lot of breath comes I out. I like to bark. You know, mm -hmm. me and me and my submissive, we go we go hard. Like the stuff that like I do with my my, my clients as far as like the BDSM and shit. Like I'm like they be like, oh my god, I'm exhausted. I'm like that ain't nothing. That's literally like the tip of the iceberg. When me and her go at it, that's why I be. That was another reason I wanted people to see it at um at a party because mm -hmm. you know they see the BDSM and they like, wow, that's crazy. Um, but I want people to see how we fuck. Mm -hmm. Like we we <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Mm. but um i guess the stuff that the way that i got started is just like when you see the reaction of a good idea coming together like you spoke about it before with the sex toys like when now that you started using sex toys you was like oh my god can crazy. you really go back crazy can you go back to not ever I, I using a sex toy? i would never go back it how about you make sense hell no exactly the way so, i know the way yeah well, it's a little bit different for me because like my only fans was reviewing male sex toys mm -hmm. so now I only have a like had women like use vibrators them, but I've also used like mm -hmm. um, dick sleeves, dick All extenders. Like, actually, I, I kind of want to go kink for kink. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, so what well, did you do? For me, uh. <laughs> the reason I wouldn't, and I was talking to Samaya about this today, is I I grew up. I used to have sex for me, mm -hmm. and I didn't even realize it. Even her reaction was for me, mm -hmm. right? Now it's literally I, I intend 
to please her. That that's intent. Like mm-hmm. it's not about fucking. I've heard it's, you say that a bunch of times in different ways, so I know it's true. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like literally, look at her. Like I'm about to wild her. You be ass plotting, right? Like hold I'm about on, to wild her ass ass out. in my head, I'm already putting together <laughs> equations yeah. of toys. Yeah. yeah, of how you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like oh, I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna use that. I'm already got yeah. it. So she don't even know what's coming. Right. It's not even like I laid them. She's out. I already know where it's at. I'm. Boop, 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 mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then mm-hmm. I'll get up if I, if I cover her eyes or whatever. I'm already walking around the room, about to go get something else. Mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, nigga, and these things have the nothing to do with me or mm. my own pleasure. It almost kind of annoys me that she feels like she got to reach around and grab my shit jerky wow. or, or, or something. You like, like, you like slap her hand away, like yo, this on me. This, 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 this on, on me. This one's on me. You know what That's I'm saying? Fire. Like chill. Like you know what I mean? And it's 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 something that I would have never ever ever done as a younger man. Never, mm. because it was always about me and conquest and getting my shit off. But it's a slightly, it was a slightly different generation. It was a lot of like you couldn't. I'm just really talking about open. me personally. Yeah, no, I'm saying it was a slightly yeah. different generation when you was a, you, you was like 16, 15 years old. You know, what I'm, I'm saying? talking about thirty. But nah. you also got to remember this generation and, and is completely different than yeah. any completely other. Completely different. Any other. Mm-hmm. And it's open and it's okay and and, and all of these mm-hmm. things is they they don't like I was I was talking uh, to my stepdaughter today things that I want to teach my kids and the younger generation is, is so much more freeing mm-hmm. when it comes to communication and how you view yourself and judgments, judgment of other people's behavior and judgment of their reality and everything that that it could change the world mm-hmm. you could that literally we live in. get or experience anything you want in this world. You just got to be forward with it. Like, this is what I want. Yeah, this is really like the most freedom-based bullying generation (laughs) it's it's really fucking bananas like do anything you want we won't judge you you psych (laughs) oh no 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 they're they're like do anything you want we won't judge you and if somebody comes judge you we all yeah judging him like this how dare you it's crazy this next question before we um go to ashley i know we have ashley come i'm calling in Mm -hmm. right and then we can start the show we haven't started mm-hmm. yet. You know that. Yeah. Um, but this question is one thing I do want to ask. We're mm-hmm. all heterosexual black men. We're all straight. I, I believe. I don't mm-hmm. you know. I can't gender. Um, assume. Assume. That's what it's called? No, is you, it gender assume? Sex no. Sex assume? What is it called? It's, it, it's not really a word. It's just yeah. you're assuming. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, yeah. So I can't assume. Um, as heterosexual black men, speaking of OnlyFans, where's the content, brother? Oh, shit. She's talking to you, playboy. Who you, said that? Play Someone, I got something why you ain't been, Why you ain't been shooting on the on the screen? I've been, I've been yeah. planning the live show. <laughs> We've all been enjoying the sex space. All of us have set up our, you know, we're, we're, what do you do as a person who is, uh, has set up shop in the sex space, right? Mm-hmm. To give back to the sex space. Because I feel like, like I said, these things were created for women. Mm-hmm. Now that we're here and we're getting money or we're able to play with pussies all day or whatever, whatever, what do you do to give back to the sex space? Uh, I'm an, I think I'm an educator by nature. So, like, my, my goal is to try to teach as many people as I can. And I feel like that's going to improve um, the experiences men have with, like, heterosexual men mm-hmm. or men in general that they engage with, both on, like, a consent and a communication level, but also, mm-hmm. like, on a pleasure level. Like, I want to have one of the biggest educational platforms when it's, you know, that circus focused around like um, pleasure mm-hmm. and, you know, communicating. And the only way to have good pleasure, I guess, from my experience, is just communicating thoroughly. Wait, so, so you're going to teach what you do? I'm going to teach everything. Every single thing that I, that I do, everything that I, you know what I mean? Let but me I'm be one of your first clients. To, absolutely. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out a way um, to monetize everything at the moment because I want to like... Because people ask me to record sessions and things. I'm like, well, I'm going to give away literally everything I do in a session. And then, mm-hmm. you know, as much as I want to give it out, like, I still got bills to pay. So, like, No, I think yeah. you should do it like, yeah. like, um... I wanted to do. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely she, gonna set up a Patreon where I'm like teaching things, holding classes. Cause yeah, I think that's dope. you know, my submissive always tells me like, "Yo, your OnlyFans don't always gotta be sex. Like, you can literally like before mm-hmm. OnlyFans became a sex platform, it was for like sharing education content. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to be for like trainers mm-hmm. and things of that nature, chefs and all of that. So like, mm-hmm. I really need to start um, shifting the content to more of a like education. So like, I even tried to experiment with some of the reels that I made most recently. Like, just trying to share a little bit of knowledge and those tend to do really really well so mm-hmm. i was like all right well i'm gonna keep it up but as you know editing creating content formulating yeah, ideas that shit ain't easy it's not yeah. so when they say sex work ain't work 
Trust mm. me. Mm. That shit is not just work. It's expensive. They need to call it work sex. Like, yeah. the work needs to come first. Yeah. The way, yeah. the way that should be. It took us, like, two hours to create a, 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 a one-minute reel. <laughs> like, legitimately. Like, so I can imagine how people are doing bigger and bigger projects. Like, you just mentioned editing earlier. I'm like... I tried to watch, which you would have used, Premiere or? or uh, Final Cut. Final Cut? Okay, it's a little cheap, it's a little straight through. But even still, it's still taxing, right? Well, I, I used to, I was using Final Cut before the update. Okay. So I still had to like manually. Do everything. It, it, it was, yes. It was so, something. Yeah. yeah. It does take a team though. You know, mm -hmm. at least you have somebody that works with you oh, yeah. on it. Um, and that's the same way I feel you should be in your relationships. Um, it's a team thing. It's way better if you got somebody to work through a lot of shit with. Mm -hmm. I just got to know. Doing the shit on your own is kind of a lot harder. Yeah. And then when, like, you have to consistently, well, OnlyFans is a you have big to be thing consistent. about it is be, you got to be consistent. With anything, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. And so it's like, but when it comes to, like, pleasure, mm -hmm. the things that you really enjoy is like. You don't get on tape. Exactly. Like, imagine not, like, imagine masturbation. Best. Like, this is like, all right, this is my time. And then it's like. I got to grab the camera. This is my time for, it's not really my time anymore. This is the time for everybody else. But you like, used to love doing that. You yeah, used to get but, off by people watching. Yeah, but after a while, like when you when I when I'm it putting out work. like yeah, when I'm putting out like four videos a week, mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't I don't want to masturbate for myself. Mm -hmm. Have you figured out your angles and all of that yet? Oh, play it. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all about to do masturbation talk? <laughs> nah, no, sir. That's a, that's a segment we need to cover because mm -hmm. you know angles. I've learned. And I'm gonna give credit all to my submissive. She tells me them drippy tips get you far, man. Mm -hmm. The drippy tips. The drippy tips. You gotta send them drippy tips out. <laughs> What's a drippy tip? That's a that's, that's a that's video a where you actually make yourself come. Don't shake the dick. Don't show the dick. Don't take a picture. Like jerk off till you come. She wanna see you come. She wanna see that that that, that come mm -hmm. come out the dick. You know. She, she calls it a drippy tip. She's like, send me a drippy tip. Drippy tips. tips. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you one thing I do. So when I video. The drippy tips. Yeah. Hey, what hey, we got a title. <laughs> <laughs> we got a title for the episode. It was gonna be a bark, but now <laughs> use a drippy tip. Um, what I would do is I'll take a I'll take a video, mm -hmm. regular video, and I come, and then in Final Cut Pro. I just scroll really you slow. Final cut your your OnlyFans video. Yeah, I love you, man. This guy's. I he's final committed. cut, and then when I wait, I wait for the shout out. Pause, save frame, send it out. <laughs> wow, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, that's how you the save do. frame. Oh, save frame with so the that, with the come so shot right out. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, player. I mean, drippy. Well, I drippy just, tips. I didn't know that that was the the word for. No, nah, it's not the word. I think that was her. her she but made that up for herself. I think that's that's going viral that's a, now. That's out of here. That's Sorry, great. You gotta, just took y'all stuff. You got to keep your certain stuff when you're on the show. Yeah, yeah. No, no EA, please, please clip this. They, 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 <laughs> hey, you, I mean, women are not afraid to tell you. They like, yo, stop sending us dick pics. Well, first of all, unsolicited this dick pics and videos mm -hmm. are not cool. Yeah, cool. but if she's into you and y'all vibing, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. send her a video with you. Bro, throw that, that camera comment. on the floor. Don't just remember it. Gotta yeah. That's it, right? Yo, oh. Oh my God! Put camera the camera on the floor, on the floor yeah. facing upwards, uh -huh. right? Jerking off, and then it's coming down like raining cum drops. But then slow, slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just tripped you. you. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just dripped you? <laughs> That's yeah. fire. Nah, but... Let me text her right now. But I'm <laughs> really, I don't really like my dick from that angle, though. I'm not even mm -hmm. gonna lie to you. I, I, I don't like my dick from that angle, so I, I would do that, and then I would have, like, the over shot the, as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, oh, hey, slow. So everybody... Every, let me, yeah. let me, let me cameras. tell y'all something. Multiple two cameras, cameras two baby. Cameras. One yes. shot. What do you yeah. think I would do? Bro, yeah. I have one camera that's a steady focus, mm -hmm. right? But it shows in portrait mode. Mm -hmm. And then I have my other camera that like can um zoom in and out. And I just put them at two different angles. Yeah. Cut. 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 When I was having my personal anal, when we had we made our anal video, mm -hmm. one was from like yeah, this angle this and one was me. from like 90 degree angle. Cut, 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 cut. Young Come shot. Is, is, Ooh, you fire. niggas are I am a fucking menace. Involved. Oh, yeah. No, it's <laughs> getting I'm crazy. Menace. You niggas have evolved. Change the mm -hmm. colors. You got to get I'm the light still in popping. the bed with the one sock on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You niggas got all types of cinematic experiences. Oh, yeah. Just... It's getting crazy. How you think here. we got the only fans to where it was? <laughs> I'd be wild. <laughs> I put all types of transitions and shit. Yeah, Add it to the beats and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yo, I edited an OnlyFans video and I played um 
um, dot com by Usher. Mm. And then when that drop came, she's like, dot com is when the drip of her, um, the coming hook dripped out. Mm. Boy. Very nice. $5 tip. $5 I'm not tip. I'm not big on, um, on music and porn. I hate that sometimes. I hate it. I hate it. Like It's, it's so distracted. I hate I I literally can't. I, yo, even if the shit is dope, once they get... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, I, mean, I get the shit. See, out the thing here. is, they make know. the they make the song too overbearing. Yeah, it has to be a very light, like it's kind of got to be like melodic, like but very I light need it background. to be amateur. Mm-hmm. I want it to seem mm-hmm. amateur. I don't like, um, but I like to have sex with music, so it's weird. Like, so mm-hmm. if I were to record, well, I don't, I don't release anything with me fucking. But if if I were to record myself, well, I, I do have a lot of videos of that. But I like to fuck with music. So mm-hmm. do you? So you mess with part. music? No, so that's another thing. Drake so. was on the other day. I had to jump up and turn my man off. I was like, Yo, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, 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 get out, get out. I messed up. I so messed up. Like, I ain't from your bed with your friend. I, I stopped him right in the middle of friend. I was like, and I walked over there like this. Like, Yo, <laughs> <laughs> hold up, bro. <laughs> you try to focus. Uh, I, yeah, Kanye almost uh, fucked up one of my sessions, too. <laughs> yeah. Cause not he, on Donda. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not on like, Donda. Yeah. Donda, 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 Donda. Donda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they almost fucked up my session. Bad. Like, I, I, I forgot what happened, but um, somehow one of his songs from his new album came on, and he started talking about Jesus in the middle of my session. I'm like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> this ain't going to work. That's like when my mom called me on the phone while I'm... What? Yeah. Huh? Your mom ain't ever called you. You had your dick in your hand. You ain't know what to do. <laughs> don't answer, nigga. What Don't do you answer. Mean? It's an emergency. I don't know what's going on. Uh, There's no way you Ma, can let me answer. Call you back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can answer non-aggressively. Like, <laughs> what do you want? When you masturbate, I, I've called myself barking on my mom. Like, because <laughs> of that. So Just like what? Because because I'm already in that intense moment, and then she called. Wait a while. I just want to know if he... Nah, I'm, I'm full. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I don't know if any of y'all have seen Orlando. I told y'all, he fights his dick. <laughs> I had to do I had to do a go, walk through the OnlyFans. They made, they made put a camera on me and they made me mm-hmm. watch. That shit violent. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is violent. I was bro. so glad I wasn't here that day. <laughs> yeah, you were hired yet. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a cock masochist. Not the bulls. You slapping your shit? Nah, I don't slap my shit. I like my. <laughs> uh, uh. Nigga said I'm a cock massacre. I do. I do temperature play on my dick. Whoa, uh, what's hey. this? So it's it's it gets bad. It gets bad. <laughs> um, I do temperature. I'm play. not mad at you. I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm paying attention. What's going on? Um, <laughs> so like I can like take like really hot water on my dick. Um, in the shower, like I'll use a shower head, turn it. She's seen it done a thousand times. Like. Um, that's something that I enjoy. Um, Shower I like, head, turn it around. No, no, I turn it, turn it, turn it all the way hot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I could take that. Look at Orlando. He's like, I'm into it. Yeah, but only. F- mm, yeah. Figure it out. I'm gonna figure <laughs> it out. But I, but I go up and like literally increments, in yeah. increments. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, it's still feel good, still feel good, still feel good, still feel good. Still feel good. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, nah, this is a, this is becoming overbearing, and I take it out, and it feels mad good. But um, and then I also like my dick being bit. So like not like hard, but like nibble and nibble. all my shit. Like nibble. Wait, like, on the head or on the shaft? On the head. Like not no, not the head, like right below the head. Like right around oh, there. Oh, it's called the Oh fuck, I forgot Frenulum. the name of it. Frenema. Yeah. That's Frenulum. Frenulum. I said yeah. Frenema. And um <laughs> I also am back vanilla. And also <laughs> this is probably like uh something I don't know. Um I'm 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 so her and I, we, we share a common interest in C and C. So, um, oh, spell it out. We have a lot of listeners. So, CNC is consensual, non consensual sex. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. where you're pretending like you're forcing a person. Mm-hmm. So, like, I like to give her no warning. So, like, granted, her pussy is always wet, but, like, you know, when you give her no warning, you just ram. Like, I love that feeling of just, you know what I mean? Not, mm-hmm. You can't do it all the time because, like we said, we got to be gentle to the pussy, mm-hmm. but, like, I like that roughness for some reason. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, just. So, do she walk around ready to go? I uh, mean, I, I, I've. I've made her ready in many different ways. That just rip the pants. Just rip it down. Like I walk around. I have yeah. um, the the EMS scissors. Mm-hmm. So that that's the thing. Vip, vip, vip. Yeah. You know those. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. That's just cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those just, just work. Among other among other things. You ordered them or you stole them? Uh, <laughs> you stole Damn. them. Nah, you almost got me. You almost, almost got, got me. Got me. I ordered them. <laughs> you know, hey, I paid full <laughs> price, <laughs> tax and all. <laughs> You know anybody that got away with a PPP loan? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good one. Good one. No, I don't. Sorry, <laughs> sir. So I'm not, I'm not the gentlest person with my dick. Like, uh-huh. It's not. She, I found a friend. It's I'm so, so happy. Y'all are very similar. <laughs> yeah. The heat thing? Yeah. The biting? The I'm shower. sitting here like... 
I feel like I was in pain. But you church. gotta do it right. See, that's the thing about kink. When you tell somebody you're yeah. they're like, "Well, all right, you like biting." Arr, no, yeah. that's not what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. work me up into mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like harder, harder. I'll let you know. I, she be like, you "How long does a sexual experience last for you normally?" Psst, uh, like actual penetration, probably mm-hmm. like twenty minutes. No, the whole thing, front to back. Oh, that can, that varies because it depends on how much time we have, where we are. I got this rule that's called not my bed. So, like, I do more when it's not my bed, meaning, like, because I like to make a mess. I'm, I'm My kinks are very, <laughs> very filthy. <laughs> That's good. So, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and, and I'm big on making her squirt, and she can flood a bed. So, like, a lot of times we don't do that at home, even with the sheets. You know what I'm saying? Even with waterproof sheets and things mm-hmm. of that nature, it's still a clean-up session. So, when we're at a hotel room, and I'm like, wildin'. it ain't my bed. Wow. We wildin', you know what I'm saying? Like That's and then fire. When housekeeping come and get pick up them shit, like we we go through for like literally we stay more than one night at a hotel, but for one night we go through maybe like three rounds of sheets. And it's not just from just squirting, it's all types of things. Like I like I like <laughs> no, my PR's is in face. the back. I gotta look at her like, is it okay? Is it good? We good? Wait, like, I'm totally interested in this. Okay, good. We're good. Right, no, we got part of me, there's no judgment here. I'm totally interested Damn, in all of We made two like, hours already? We Keep have the green. We Keep have the going. green. I'm a big fan of messy anal. Mm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of messy anal. I, the bigger the mess, the more. You know what I'm saying? Give it to me. Give it to you. Like, let me prep. Too late. You should have prepped before. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type shit. So when we're at a hotel type room, shit. you know what I mean? Like, oh, I literally, I have, like, I have I a routine the of taking the sheets off the bed, going to another floor in the hotel, <laughs> don't put them off the motherfuckers, <laughs> 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 yeah. like, ain't yep. hey, my sheets. Because uh, they would definitely take our deposit if, we, if they realize how many sheets this we got. This is a sick Negro. So. <laughs> 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 so. Yo, that's very brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know what I mean? So and like literally we walk in the hotel, I'm like, order some sheets. As soon as we walk in, I'm like, order sheets, order towel. Mm-hmm. I tell everybody that I perform for when I do a show, I'm like, I need at least three towels per person I do a demo on because a lot of times they're gonna squirt. You know what I mean? Like things like that's why I said the same thing with you. Part of the my, my towel um thing uh request was for that reason mm-hmm. too. For the squirt. For the squirt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Do you so, get the squirting at the parties? Have you had the dope squirts at the parties? Uh yeah. I mean I've been blessed to say that I can. There's not a woman that I haven't made squirt that I've engaged with as far as like um, sessions, demos, anything like that. I believe I've heard that about you. I believe I've heard that about you. What my thing is this: mm-hmm. at sex parties, I haven't. I don't think I've achieved that at the sex party with her. I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm not racing towards it. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not. But, I know when I'm on my bot, when I'm on my shit, mm-hmm. she going off. You know what, what I mean? what I learned is squirting isn't as as fulfilling as we think it is. As a man, from a man's perspective, we're like, oh my god, there's a bunch of liquid coming mm-hmm. out of her. She that she must be exhausted, like, or she must that must be the best orgasm. No, you, they they've literally explained it like that makes them just want more and more and more and more. It's that deep a spot orgasm mm-hmm. that makes them like, oh, you know what I'm man, saying? I gotta get out. Spots, you know what I mean? Boy. So, so that's a different. Yo, orgasm. round of applause for knowing your spots. Yeah. 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 I still yeah. don't know what that shit is. Yeah. You have the Google. Yeah. You have the Google. <laughs> it's not 2016. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's different. Different orgasms feel different. But we think that squirting orgasm, that shit literally, mm-hmm. it feels good. But it ain't like it ain't the best thing you can do to a woman. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be honest with you. It's just a different sensation, a different pleasure, mm-hmm. something that they enjoy, something mm-hmm. they wouldn't pass up. Mm-hmm. But it ain't like. That they still be ready for more. Mm-hmm. That's not the end all be all. Yeah. yeah. So a lot What's of the time, end all be all when it comes to women. When so I mean, I don't know. Everybody has different. Like I said, like I said. Um, I've had a lot of women. Um, as much as they are exhausted, the moment after the session is done or after the demonstration is done, a lot of times, um, you know, they 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 want to engage with their partner after. Like he said, it's like a foreplay. Mm-hmm. As much as I don't want to say that because you know my my sessions get intense and I want to be saying like oh, I'm taking mm-hmm. souls and all mm-hmm. that. That's a part of that is true, but also part is they crave now that other type intimacy. of intimacy. That yeah, that other thing because mm-hmm. I'm not giving, I'm not having sex with them. Mm-hmm. So is they they want to go home to their partner or whoever they they're engaged with and have that other version of pleasure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's different. So Damn, like it's different levels of pleasure. It's different levels of pleasure. It's different levels. Think of about you. like when you go to a sex party. Like you said, you always come home and you and your wife always. finish. You know and what I'm saying? When we get in the house, it's completely different. It's intense. Yeah. It's literally just us. It's yeah. it's a completely different thing. Mm-hmm. Rather than what we did over there. Like we'll have mad fun mm-hmm. at the sex party. Mad fun. And come home and, and it's fucking. Be, yeah. It's 
I don't want to say beastie. It's it's fucking crazy. Yo, I, I heard I heard, animalistic. I heard yes. something mm-hmm. on uh, what was the name of the show? He said, "I want to beast fuck you." <laughs> that was something mm-hmm. I liked. <laughs> It makes sense. Right. Yeah, it makes a lot we of do sense. have but... Ashley here. Let's get Ashley on the line. She uh-huh. has our orgasms and what's it? News Gossip and orgasms. And gasms. Gossips and gasms. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said the said orgasms like the one time and it's been stuck ever since. He said orgasm and nudes. And nudes. It's nudes. But it I said nudes. nudes and nudes or something like that. Why would you do that? I don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, let's call Ashley and see what she has to say. All right. When you get Xfinity Internet, Flex is included free. And finding what to watch on TV is now as easy as popcorn. This is a way better way to watch. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today to get a great offer on Internet and add Flex for free. Restrictions apply. Peacock fuels your true crime obsession with exclusive new originals. John Wayne Gacy, Devil in Disguise. Clowns can get away with murder. And Epstein's shadow, Ghislaine Maxwell. She inherited Jeffrey Epstein's secrets. Plus the most bingeable crime series, Snapped. Sign up now at PeacockTV.com. In the fight against COVID-19, testing offers another layer of protection in addition to vaccines. Go to vdh.virginia.gov and search by zip code to find a free COVID-19 test near you. A message from your Virginia Department of Health. Hey, we back with the news. Sex talk with Ash She's in the building. She's on the phone. She's Yo, ready to give it to English us. Sucks, Ashley. Just <laughs> take it away. What's up? What you got for us this week? <laughs> What's up? What's up, y'all? Um, so this week there was a rumor that was started partly by me, but not. But it was on media takeout, right? So the rumor was that Chloe, the singer Bailey, was dating Future. I don't know if you guys heard that rumor. Um, that Chloe was dating Future. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, so Media Takeout um, posted it, and I, then I posted it on social media on both platforms, and it kind of kind of took a life of its own. Anyway, it was funny because that, um, Chloe went live today on Instagram, and somebody asked her, like, oh, are you dating Future? She was like, no, I'm not dating Future. I don't know where that rumor came from. Um, but yeah, she, she cleared that rumor right on up. So that is a rumor. Bro, I don't believe nothing Chloe said. Why? Because, like, she just, she won't even admit that she wants to show us her ass. Like, just say, yo, I want y'all to see this ass. You see how fat this ass is? I want y'all to see it. Just submit it. Like, that's, I'm cool with that. But you like, oh, you know, self-expression. Then you make a uh, song called Booty So Big. Like, come on. Uh, that is true. That just is- say, yo, <laughs> I want y'all to see this fucking ass. I have a fat ass. <laughs> She's young though too, so she's also young. So she's twenty three. So she might not be able to, you know, formulate those words that where it sounds not like she's trying to be like this video vixen. So she's young. I mean, okay, so is 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 it customary for young people to have to go through future? Like this yeah. is what a lot of them do. How they, old is future? Future is my age. He's thirty six, I believe. Future, but future is only thirty six in age. He's literally like five years old. Like when you're talking about his personality. But future is like the he, so future she might the be pa- dating a, a, a child. <laughs> future is the pass around of the industry. Like everybody goes to him. Like it's right. a, it's a it's a the drop off point where you, the pit stop you make when you're trying to be on the up your up and coming shit. Like he's like good luck Chuck. Someone someone said that um, you know you go to future then you find your real man. So like exactly. oh, shit. he's like the <laughs> Delaware Memorial Bridge. He's like that bridge that when you got you trying to get to Virginia, you got to go across that long bridge. Yeah, that's yeah. future. <laughs> yeah. That's he's future. A, he's the point in between, you know, where you trying to go to. So yeah, that's what he's 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 definitely the pass around of the industry. I don't know why anybody would want to be with him at this point. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm I will I will be I am curious as to how, how future dick is because everybody goes there, so it must be pretty good. I was just about to say that. It has to be. He has 11 baby mamas. So nobody said, put a condom on. <laughs> nobody was like, yo, the back pull out? Like, yeah. that means they was mesmerized. Shit. It got to be great. His, 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 his sex has to be amazing. Has to be. Well, mm-hmm. I believe that Future does move as if he's, like, toxic. And yeah, then women does. always say toxic dudes got the best action. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, Ash, true. I don't know if you know, we have uh, Sir Marvelous Kinks here in the building. Oh, hey, Sir Marvelous. Hey, Ashley. How you doing? Good. I, I know him. Uh, right. Yeah, you guys know each other, right? Now, what do you yeah. think about this future Chloe thing? 
uh, I'm gonna probably say the same thing you said. He gotta have some good dick or something, cause everybody keep wanting to go through him. So it makes sense. And stay. Yeah, he yeah. must have that struggle dick, but now he's rich, cause you know how they say struggle yeah. dick is. Yeah, good but dick. he's too stupid to realize that he's rich. Yeah, so that's probably. <laughs> Party's part of me, future. I ain't mean it like that. I did mean it like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what do you? What else you got for us? All right, so the game is um in hot water. Uh, Priscilla Rainey, she was on his show back in the day. Uh, she got game. And so she sued him for sexual assault and actually won. And she won like $7 million, right? Oh, so, sheesh. Whoa. So, but he hasn't, he's only paid um, $250,000 of that $7 million. Mm. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't paid. Do you know what the, the charges were? Um, no. Whatever it was, she had I don't proof. know the charges are. Yes, yeah, she had but proof. She Seven won. Mil? She had proof of something. Does she won the case or he settled? No. no uh, a, a judge. She won. She got a judgment. Seven, seven million dollars. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. And he now he only paid two fifty. Yeah, you did that shit. So she, Guilty as fuck. so she, yes, he only paid two fifty, and so she's now talking about that. Apparently, what he did was he put everything in his manager's name, which is Cash. Mm-hmm. Um, Cash. What is his name? Cash Jones. Mm. Like his house, his royalties, um, his his logo, all that shit is in his manager's name. So that way, it looks like he don't have no money. And so she she's saying that. Um, he's he's avoiding paying her by putting stuff in her in his management's name, which is kind of smart. Actually. That's the oldest but, trick in the book. Yeah, yeah I mean, just hit him, hit his manager with a car. Yeah. <laughs> now I got two fifty, and you broke. <laughs> <laughs> just, you ain't got nothing no more. Go right to that. his family. Yeah, that so, goes right to his family. They ain't make no deal with this guy. <laughs> That's crazy. So it's pretty, bro. it's pretty smart, you know. But you know, it's, it's not. I want her to get her money though, so hopefully she'll. But the thing go is, like, court. let's keep it real though. Like, you really did something to this girl. You right. really had yeah. to do something to this girl. Like, I, is that, are we in agreement with the, at the, yeah. the room? I never understand guys yeah. like that, man. He already get all the women he could possibly want. You don't need to force yourself on nobody. So. Because any type of no goes against your ego. We move with ego so much. Yeah. And, and he thinks that he's above the Lord. He's always acting like that. And he's a weird dude anyway. He's a uh, game. Yeah. He's always been a weird dude, bro. Like, really? Yeah. I think Jesse Young is so cute. He, he weird? See, I don't mm-hmm. really trust cute niggas, period. So there you go. Well, so much for me. Yeah, I never <laughs> trusted you. I never <laughs> trusted you. <laughs> he's so cute. He's like on my celebrity bucket list. Like, the gang could get it. He's so cute now. I don't know if he's You know he ran through most cute. of the Kardashians, right? Like, confirmed. Like oh, he confirmed. could. Really? He's the one, he's the one yeah, that chatted. Moved. He yeah. chatty patted about it. He's the one yeah. that said it. Yeah. He, he was saying he had a he had Kim before Soldier Boy. Damn, yeah. Boy. Yeah, you know, Soulja Boy was like, I had, you know, Soulja Boy was like, yo, I had Kim before you, Kanye. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Jesus Christ. But yeah, oh, fuck, oh. fuck them niggas that be touching women and all that shit. You niggas is corny, bro. Like, get your game up. Mm. What? Well, speaking of niggas who touch people, we're talking about R. Kelly niggas. The game. Get your game up. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow, I seen that. That's I go good. at the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> all right, R. Kelly's the last one of the, of, of the week. So, um, you know, R. Kelly's on trial and all this stuff. And so um, one of Aaliyah's former background singers, she testified in court the other day that she saw R. Kelly giving um, Aaliyah oral sex when she was like, I don't know, 13, 14. Um, And that her and R. Kelly also had a sexual relationship when she was 15. (sighs) And that for him, he said that um, it was her her way of payment, I guess, for helping her to, you know, sing and be a background singer. And she was. She also said that he was very, you know, aggressive and very controlling, which I can see. Because how else is he making y'all say this? I can see him being very controlling. But yeah, so that's that's the latest in the R. Kelly trial. I really don't. Um, now, is that one of the girls that was in the um, documentary? That it. That, yeah. That's the one that basically was older by the time Aaliyah came around and kind of walked in the back on the bus and seen them yeah. be intimate and all that. Now I remember right. that. I remember that's that right. point. Mm-hmm. Um, she was very believable. Yeah, she she seemed to know that she was some felt somewhat complicit. Like she was like, yo, I kind of let it happen. I like I knew what was going on. Like she admitted not mm-hmm. complete. When I say complicit, I'm saying like once you know and you don't do nothing. 